So, uh, welcome to our uh, free uh, coaching uh, about sociology of crimes. So, this is one of the programs of our uh, review center, uh, Mentors Criminology Review Center. So, we decided to open it to all para yung mga iba na wala namang uh, uh, review center or uh, gustong madagdagan ng knowledge ay maka-join sa amin. So expect guys that uh, this type of coaching will be conducted in a regular basis. So probably back uh, Sabado, Linggo at around uh, 10 p.m. ay uh, magkakaroon. But every Tuesday, magkakaroon tayo ng free coaching here courtesy of the uh, mentorians, itong mga reviewing namin. Sila kasi ang nagre-request ng uh, topic, right? Yung mga nag-request dito like Jerry. Okay, sila ang nag-request kasi ng, ano eh, ng topic. And then, uh, to help the others, so we decided to open this. Okay, guys. But uh, guys, I would like to uh, ask your uh, your help no, to to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, Pro, uh, Pro Rider. Uh, yan ang aking YouTube channel. Bakit ka uh, prop writer? Kasi ako yung professor na malayo yung tinuturuan. Although may mga malapit din ako school. But I have been uh, teaching in uh, Olivares College of Tagaytay. Uh, Kawai-kawai sa mga taga-Olivares dito. Kawai-kawai okay. sa mga taga-Olivares. Kagagaling ko lang sa Tagaytay. Ito lang, no? So, alas 9 ako dumating dito. Yes, from Tagaytay, nag-out ako doon na 7 uh, p.m. So, also, nagtuturo din ako sa Lyceum uh, uh, Batangas University. So, I am uh, Professor Alan Lad Santos. I'm also an active member of the Philippine National Police. Uh, a professor, a top-notcher during 2012 Criminology Board exam. And I have been teaching the uh, review and acade acade academics for nine years. So, siyang na taon na akong uh, nagtuturo. Yes, uh, Charles, kindly uh, approve. Okay, approve mo na lahat ng nag-request dyan. Okay. So guys, no, uh, this video will be uploaded uh, to, to my YouTube channel. So if you want to review... Okay, this uh, video, okay, uh, kindly uh, click the notification bell so that you will be informed if there is a new uploaded video. So, tulungan nyo rin ako to, uh, to, in to increase my uh, subscriber by sharing the YouTube channel. So, yun na lang ang itulong nyo sa akin. Okay guys, so for today, we're going to uh, discuss the sociology of crime. So, Kami dito sa Mentors Criminology, uh, we have been, our techniques for review, especially sa online, is question and answer. So I will pose uh, some question based on the previous board exam, and then all of you, dapat, lahat kayo, actively participate o sumagot, so that uh, malaman nyo kung ang answer nyo is tama, and then I will explain or mali. Uh, tandaan nyo guys, huwag kayong mahiya kung mali ang inyong uh, sagot. Because uh, you will you will learn from your mistakes. Kung kayo ay tama, then puro tama, then there is no room for improvement. Pero, kung uh, kayo ay magkamali, that's better because uh, as early as now, madedetect mo ang kahinaan ninyo. Okay, so let us start. I will post the, uh, I will uh, present or show my presentation. Yes, uh, Pika, do you have any uh, question? Samuel. So you could uh, use the chat box, guys, for answering the question. Huh? Pwede nyong uh, review as a friend. This is our program, okay? Friend naman tayo lahat, no? We are friends, okay? So, expect that every Tuesday, we're going to have this kind of program until the board exam. Okay. So, this is free, ah, 100% free. Okay. 
So, makipag-participate lang if you know the answer. Okay? Kung hindi nyo uh, alam ang sagot, uh, sagot pa rin. No? Malay mo. Tama. Okay? Let us now proceed. Okay, this is uh, for sociology of crimes only. But we will going to have part 2 kasi we can't uh, finish. Hindi naman tayo pwedeng abutin na alas dos. May duty pa ako bukas. <laughs> so, uh, but expect that every uh, Tuesday, sometimes every Saturday or Sunday ng gabi. Kaya mentorians, so may review na kayo sa umaga hanggang alas, uh, alas, alas 7. Tapos kung gusto nyo pa, may review pa kayo ng alas 10. Okay ba yun? Silmar, Jerry, are you listening? Yes, sir. Malakasan. Ayan. Yes, sir. Okay, payag yan. Siyempre, si Jerry pa. Ayan, si Lorica. So, ganun din, no? Uh, there is no discrimination. Whatever review center you are. Okay, by the way, guys, nagtuturo din ako sa iba't ibang review center. Like, uh, Amisi, like Ortea Review Center, magandang review center yun. Matic, no? Maganda review center. And also do sa review uh, review program ni uh, Sir Nolly, ACLC. Okay? This coming uh, Friday. I will be there this coming Friday. Okay? I will uh, coach the uh, police organization. Okay, so let us now proceed. Review as a friend. Dapat pag may turon kayong target na magaling, no? Na na gusto niyong kaibiganin. Okay, chat nyo. Review as a friend. Huwag nyo lang dugtungan ng uh, review as a friend sa Sapinit Road. Ako, sarap mag-review sa Sapinit Road. Little Baguio. So let us now proceed. Okay, ito ang first question. So please focus. Okay. Wamox, yung pinagalong uh, tao sa Kalamok, has been working with restaurant as a manager. Okay? So take note, this is an OBE type of question. Ha? Ganto, may encounter nyo sa board exam. He noticed that one of the cashier forgot to close the drawer. Nakalimutan niyang no, uh, isara. And no, si Wamox ay nagnakaw ng 2,000 pesos. What type of crime is this? Based on the uh, choices, what is your answer? Anong sagot? Banat! Sabi ni Jonas. Oh, Jonas, good evening. Jillian, good evening. Ah, si Jillian, one of my top students in Olivares. Okay. Uh, Jerson, A, B, A, 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 A. Okay. May sumagot na B. Okay, may nalito pa. Okay, sabi ni Jerry A. So, let us define first. Pag-usapan natin yan. Okay. Pag hindi kaya sa, ano, pag-usapan natin. Di ba? Pag kayo hindi nagkakaintindihan, pag-usapan natin yan. So, ganito. Una, ang white collar crime is committed by a person with high social status or higher position in the company. Question, uh, si Wamox ba as a manager, mataas ba ang kanyang katungkulan sa kanyang company? The answer is yes. And aside from that, doon sa white collar crimes, nakalagay doon, that he used his position to commit the crime. Ginamit niya ang kanyang position. Ang tanong, no? Is his position is necessary to this situation? Nagamit ba niya ang position niya dito sa situation na to? Ang tanong, ang sagot, hindi. So therefore, kung hindi niya ito ginamit, it will just fall down to blue collar crimes. Why? Blue collar crimes is any crime committed by employee because of the opportunity. Nagkaroon ng opportunity to steal. Diba nakita niya? Merong, oh, bukas. Hindi niya ginamit yung pagiging manager niya. Okay? Kinuha niya, and that is blue collar. 
But what if, balik, ano natin yung question? Wamox is a bank manager. Siya lang ang may access ng vault. Siya lang ang may susi ng vault. As a manager, siya lang ang may hawak ng vault. Then he stole money from the vault. Ngayon, ano na ang sagot? White collar na ba? O blue collar? Yes, very good, Silmar. The answer will be white collar. Okay? Kasi nga, yung position niya, ginamit niya, yung pagiging mataas niya, okay, without his position, he can never commit that kind of crime. Hindi niya kayang i-commit yan kung siya lang ay ordinaryong janitor. Diba? So I want you to remember that. And please remember that the white collar crime is applicable only for corruption, economic, and crimes against property. Yes, uh, good after, good uh, evening sa'yo, Bert. I believe si Bert tagamatic. Tagamatic ka ba, Bert? If, uh, ay, ano, parang nag estudyante kita sa matik eh. Ah, hindi. Okay. So, Bernadas, uh, good uh, evening sa'yo. Okay, uh, ah, okay, uh, Okay, Bert. Uh, John, Kate, my students in U University of Manila. Good evening sa'yo. Okay, let us now proceed to number two. Nena is already 12 years old. Okay, labing dalawang taong gulang na si Nena. Okay, commit PD-1563. So what is PD-1563? May nakakaalam? Without using your Google. Okay, without using Google. Nakakalam ba ng PD-1563? Ano yan? Yan ay anti-mendicancy law. Okay, batas ni Marcos. Nabawal kang mamalimos. Okay? Is she exempted under PD-603? Anong sagot nyo? A, yes, because of age of criminal irresponsibility. Okay, B, no, under PD-603, she is not exempted. Okay, C, yes, due to the law. And letter D, none of the above. Anong sagot nyo? Okay, maraming sumagot na A, 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 A. Bernadas and Jerry, pag sinabi mong A, ano yung A? Sa atin, sa mentors, ano yung A? Ano yun, A. Jerry? Awit. Ayan, awit. Paumpisa pa lang tayo, awit na agad. Awit. Pag sa board exam, awit tayo. Why? Tandaan nyo. Ano ba yung age of uh, criminal responsibility under PD-603? Ano ang exempted, age na exempted sa PD-603? na ikaw ay walang criminal liability. PD-603, I'm not talking 9344. Iba ang 9344, iba ang PD-603. Okay, baka nakakalimutan nyo. Ang PD-603, yan yung unang batas na pinalitan ng Republic Act 9344. Sa tanong na kalagay, under sa PD-603, exempted pa siya. Okay? Mali. Okay, nagkamali si Jerry kasi diesel to eh. Yan, very good, Jolene. The answer is nine. Nine years old and below. You are exempted. Wala ka dati kasi ganun. Okay? Pag nine years old and below ka, wala kang criminal, respons wala kang criminal liability. Ngayon, binago na yan na Republic Act 9344 naging 15 years old na and below. Okay? So, under PD-603, hindi siya exempted from criminal liability. So, the answer is letter B. Tandaan nyo, the answer is letter B. Hindi siya exempted. Bakit? Ang nakalagay sa tanong, PD-603, ano ba ang edad na exempted sa batas under PD-603? Ang sagot, 9 years old and below. Until ito ay nabago ng Pangilinan Law, yung Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act na 9344. No, pangit ng batas na yun. 
15 years old. Meron na silang, alam mo na, di ba? Exposed na yan sa internet eh. So, there are 15 years old na medyo malaking bulas at kaya na lang mag-overpower ng mga girls. No? So, there are some uh, cases na narit ng 15 years old ng babae. Okay. Julie, good evening sa iyo. Um, Julie, my friend. So, the answer is letter B. She is not exempted. So, I want you to remember that. Tandaan niyo ha. Yung age of criminal irresponsibility, ito yung exempted ka. Yung age of criminal responsibility, ito yung meron kang liability. Okay? Meron kang liability. So I want you to remember that. But it doesn't mean na kapag ikaw ay over 15 but under 18, ay may criminal liability ka na. Okay? Kapag ikaw ay may discretion. So I want you to remember that word, discretion. So kapag may discretion ka, criminally liable ka. Kapag wala kang discretion, again, you are exempted from criminal liability. Okay. Meron tayong mga institutions, no? Yung ating mga uh, youth rehabilitation program uh, institution. Okay? Doon sila inilalagak. Okay? But unfortunately, okay, Kapag sila'y nagtino, until such time that they uh, arrive at their age of majority, pag nag-18 na sila. Okay? Kaya nga, kanina, uh, doon sa GC, si Jelin nagtanong, Sir, bakit ang sagot dito, juvenile uh, offender pa rin ang um, 18 years old? Mali. Hindi na juvenile offender yun. Kasi maliwanag, na nasa age of majority na siya. 18 years old and above, nasa age of majority, not minority. So, hindi na siya considered as juvenile offender. Okay? Ngayon, kung may 16 years old na may discretion, they will be uh, detained sa mga youth rehabilitation program as a diversionary. Yun ang tinatawag na diversion program. Ngayon, kapag nagtino sila ron, at age 18, pwede na silang uh, ipasok sa kulungan ng matatanda. No? Pero didesisyonan muna yan. Mabait ka na, wala ka ng liability. Ibig sabihin, you are reformed. Sama, no? <laughs> sama, kung ikaw yung biktima. Sama. <laughs> Di ba? Okay, number uh, three. Okay, dito tayo. Ito, maganda to. This refers to instances where the boys build up a warm and loving relationship with mothers. Ano ang sagot dito? Sabi ni Bert, bravo. Okay? Sabi ni Keisha, bravo. Sabi ni Isa, A. Sabi ni Jerson, A. Rosalyn, B. Ace, B. A, B. Okay, A. A. D. Okay, uh, ngayon, tignan natin, ha? Okay. Medyo magkakaiba ang sagot ninyo. Pero majority, ha? Majority ang sagot, letter A. Merong iba, sumagot ng letter B. What is the answer? Hindi letter B. When you say about Thanatos, ano sino si Thanatos? Ah, I want you to write it. No? Kapag atin kayo sa coaching natin, dala kayo ng ballpen so that you could uh, write. Okay. Yes, uh, Jay, it could be. But when you say about Thanatos, yon very good, Joshua. So, galing talaga nito ni Joshua. God of death. yon Tama, no? So, God of death, it also refers to aggressiveness, killing, any violent behavior. Okay? Kaya siya, God of death. More of violence eh. When you say about Eros, itong uh, Eros, yung mga, ano dyan, itong sinusunod, no? Okay, yung mga nagpupunta dyan as friend. Uy, motor tayo as friend. Rides tayo as friend. Nagra, magra-rides kayo, umuulan. <laughs> May binabala kayata. 
Uy, ride tayo. E, teka lang, umuulan, babe. Teka lang, umuulan, eh. Ayun mo ng rides. Okay. Eh, binabala. <laughs> okay, guys. What is Eros? Eros is what? The God of Love. If Thanatos is the God of Death, Eros is the God of Love. Okay? Eros is also pertains to your drive, sexual drive, your uh, drive for food, your drive for success. Eros din yan. Yung mga pangangailangan mo. Okay? So, maraming nag nalito. Nalito. Electra and Oedipus. Okay? Ano ang tamang sagot? Talaga. Ikaw, Jerry, wala ka ng sagot na sure. Sir, sure. Eh, ganun ka na. Kasi nakaraan, may ganun ka. Kaso napasok lang tayo eh. <laughs> so, okay. Ano ang sagot? Sabi ni Isa A. Ang sagot talaga letter A. Wala nga na yan pagdududa. Oedipus complex. It came, it came from a Greek story about uh, a boy who loves his mother, okay, affectionate to, to his mother, had a desire towards his mother, okay? So, itong Oedipus complex na to, ito yung uh, stages, a psychosexual. When you say about psychosexual uh, stages, Sino ang nag-advocate no? Sino ang uh, nag uh, ano no no? Advocator nung psychosexual stages na yan. Sigmund so, Freud. Si Sigmund. Si pareng Sigmund. Sigmund Freud. Okay, Freud. <laughs> okay, hindi Freud ha? Kamamaya, Sigmund Freud. Okay. Pag sinabi mong Freud, ano yan eh? Sa criminal law. Di ba? Nanlolo ko ka eh. Okay, Sigmund Freud. Okay, so meron kang different stages dyan, di ba? Oral, anal, uh, palic, latency, and latency genital. Hindi mo yan. Okay, so ito ay isang e uh, event na nangyayari sa isa sa mga stages na to. Okay? Mami, I will discuss each kasi kasama sa tanong yan eh. But the answer is Electra. Eh, uh, Oedipus, I'm sorry. The opposite of Oedipus is Electra. Kung yung mga bata na lalaki nagkakaroon ng desire towards his mother, okay, considering the husband or his father as a rival, no? Rival niya. Okay? So, but it will be gradually removed that kind of feeling when he already identifies his father. Okay? So, bata pa naman yun. But, ang opposite nun is Electra. Kaya yung sumagot ng Electra, baligtad. Ito yung daughter or uh, girls na may and towards desire sa kanyang tatay at the early stage. Okay, yes. Very good, Jillian. Galing si Jillian, ha? By the way, guys, si Jillian, ha? Uh, estudyante ko sa OCT. May top uh, student sa uh, kanilang uh, batch. Third year pa lang siya. <laughs> Third year. Pero alam niya niya, ha? Oh. Okay, galing. So, take note of that. The answer is Oedipus. Okay. Let us now proceed to this one. Ayan. The agencies and institutions whose primary responsibility is dealing with juvenile offenders are those juveniles in need of supervision comprises the... What is your answer? Anong sagot nyo rito? Okay, guys. Copy tayo. Okay? May kasalo na ba kayo sa twin pack nyo? Okay, ako wala eh. How sad. Okay, sabi ni Ace, Delta, wow! Almost 90 na tayo rito ah. Okay, ang dami. Taka lang. Pag sa mentors, marami na tayo sa 60. Pero dito na, sa 90 na tayo. What is the answer? Okay, very good. 
The answer is letter D. So there is no need for explanation. Self-explanatory na yan. Okay. So let us now proceed to this one. Okay guys, kaya saya ka pala yung mga sasali sa ano sa coaching. Dapat mag-message kayo na ano before 10. Okay? Before 10. Kasi kapag after 10 na, tulad na nakikita ko, kasi dalawang gadget ang ginagamit ko, my phone and my laptop because my laptop uh its microphone has been uh, uh back down. So hindi ko magamit kaya so, tuloy, kapag may nagme-message, sasali, hindi ko na ma-replyan, okay? So, next time, guys, uh, maaga, no? Uh, message me earlier, mga 10 minutes before 10, para mabigay namin yung link. Okay? So, don't forget naman to support my channel, okay? Dito tayo ngayon. Alias Linda! oh si Alias Linda. Okay, sino ba to? Tuloy ang kaso. Wanted! Dante Gulapa to be her boyfriend. Sana all. Okay, sana all gustong maging boyfriend. However, Dante has been in love with Roberta. Nako, love triangle. So, pwede naman, di ba? As a friend. Linda as a group of men to kidnap Dante. Nako, sana all. China all may kinikidnap. Bring him to her private Okay, uh, how's yan siguro? The above situation based exemplify. This is ano yan, type of traits yan. Eh. Type of traits. Okay, what is your answer? Anong sagot nyo rito? Sabi ni Josia C. Sabi ni Marby C. Sabi ni Darius D. John Paul this there. Okay, ano Samuel? What is your answer? D sir, none of this. Letter D. D ang sagot. Si Jerry, D. Jerry, but letter D? Katab ko sir. Malakas katab ko. Ano ang sagot ba? Uh, words. Anong tamang, sa anong tamang sagot? Kung bakit D? Kasi kung none of the above, may naiisip ka ng sagot. Okay, anong type of traits ito? Di ba meron tayong apat na type of traits? Consensus, agreeableness, extroversion, ano yung huli? Ano yung huli? Okay? Abduction. No, not abduction. <laughs> abduction is a type of crime. Sir, yun sir. Okay, hindi abduction. Okay. Type of crime yung abduction eh. Di ba? May dalawang abduction. Forcible and consented. Diniscuss natin yan noong nakaraan, noong linggo. Okay? Diniscuss natin kung anong mga elements niyan. No? Not introversion. Kasi introversion saka extroversion, ano yan eh? Alos isa lang yan. Okay? Papaliwanag ko mamaya. Okay? Alos isa lang yan. Ano yung sagot? Neurotism. Okay? So, take note of that, ha? Neurotism. So, kapag, no, violent behavior, violent behavior, okay? Galit, negative feeling, negative emotions, neurotism yan. No? Like, nagpakidnap ka, gumawa ka ng masama just to get your, what you desire. No? Pero, pero sana all, no? Sana all may pinapakidnap. Ikaw, uh, Michael. Ucha, hirap kidnapin ito ni Michael. Laki ng katawan nito. Eh. Papayag ka bang magpakidnap, Michael? Kikidnapin ka dahil type na type ka? Pero kami ni Jerry, madali lang kami kidnapin. Kasi ikaw, eh, muwala tawa-tuwa ka, Michael. Eh. <laughs> muwala tawa-tuwa. <laughs> okay. Sana all, Michael. Okay. So take note of that. Pag neurotism, it pertains to negative feeling. It pertains to negative emotion. Nasabi ni Jorli, basta daw si Trina. Okay. So, pwede naman, no? Iyain mo kasi, review as a friend. Tapos sa dulo, may nakalagay, in Sapinit Road. Wow, ganda naman. Sapinit Road. Ayun, doon sa si Darius. Siyempre, di ba? Hindi tayo easy to get Darius. Papakidnap muna tayo, tututukan muna tayo ng patalim bago makuha yung puri natin. 
paglokohan na tayo rito. Okay, consensus. When you say about consensus, it's about the morality of the person. It's about his uh, remorse kapag ito yung nagpumitigil sa kanya to commit wrong. Consensya. Okay? Consensus. When you say about agreeableness, this is pertains that you are open. No? Open to learning, open for training, open for adventure, offer, open for friendship. Meaning to say, guys, you are exploring. Okay? So, open ako magpagkaibigan sa iyo. Agreeableness yan. O, oh, open ako pumunta doon. Punta tayong Baguio as a friend. Yon, agreeableness yan. Okay? So, take note of that. Adventure, you're open to learning. Kaya kayo, di ba? Sumama kayo. Ay, teka lang, sama kami dito sa pre-lecture. Agreeableness yan. Okay? That is the meaning of that. Extroversion, introversion, magkaiba. Pero nasa isang ano lang yan. Nasa isang uh, ano lang yan. No? Kasi may apat lang eh. Extroversion slash introversion. Pag sinabi mong extroversion, you are caring about your environment and what happened no, to your environment. Okay? So, meron kang pakialam kung ano nangyayari sa mundo, sa kapwa mo, may pakialam ka kung anong mga balita, kung anong politika, may pakialam ka what, ha, what is happening, pandemic. So you care, okay, about the environment, about the external factors, about your surroundings, about the people, no, who are near to you. May pakika, may pakika sa bansa, sa politika, but when you say about extroversion, that is the exact opposite. You only care about yourself, okay? Yeah. Yes, may replay to, nasa YouTube ko ng replay. Kaya nga, I want you to click the notification bell para pag in-upload ko to at meron akong mga live video, eh, ma-inform kayo, di ba? Kasi, ah, ito man, na-upload ko na, yun ikaw, hindi mo pa alam, tas natabunan na ng mga video. Okay? So, ano nyo na, no? Just click the notification uh, bell button. Okay, those are the four. Okay? Four kinds of traits. Okay, so I want you to remember that. Pero meron tayong kinds of traits according to ano eh, Alport. No? According to Alport. Okay? Ano naman yun? Yung common, central, okay? Yung isa, that is cardinal and uh, secondary. Yun yung mga ibang traits. Eh. Mamaya, we will go into uh, yun, si Gillian. Kasi estudyante ko to yun. <laughs> Di ba, Gillian? Ako yata, professor mo dyan eh. Yes, sir. Yun. Okay, guys, si Jillian, third year pa lang yan. And one of my top students in Olivares. Hopefully to become a top notcher someday. Okay. So, kapag may uh, Jillian, itong mga kuya mo rito, mga seniors niyan, mga graduates na to. Okay, dito tayo. no? Kinata. Kinata. Yung asawa ni Naro to. Diyan, patay na si Kurama. Very emotional lang na uh, naro buruto ngayon. Patay na si Kurama. Nagbaryon mood. Okay, hinata when eating. Prepared fish and veggies instead of meat. Since eating meat will disrupt her diet and would and could make her fat. <laughs> Mataba. Hinata exemplifies what type of traits? Anong type of traits yan? Okay, anybody? Anong type of traits? Okay, nasa na yung mga ano natin? Sagot na. <laughs> Where are you? How about the others? What type of traits is that? Sabi ni Josias B. D, 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 C, D. B. Okay. C, C, D, D, D. Okay, maraming sumagot ng D at B. Sabi ni Jerry, B, D. Okay. Ano sa tingin mo, Jerry? Ano sa tingin mo ang res response ko? What do you Sir. think? Awit. Sir. Yes? Sir, B po. D. B po. Awit. Awit. Ito, respond ko. Awit. Sir, ano sa Awit. Sir, ano? 
main traits that form your personality. Okay. Ano natin, ha? Awit ties. Okay. So, when you say about uh, secondary traits, okay, so I want you to remember, this uh, secondary traits is a, a preference, okay? But not, uh, but that the whole, unlike in central and common, central and common is just the same. It can be seen to all people, like uh, simple common traits, like pag ikaw ay uh, ginawa ng mabuti, mag so that is a common traits, di ba? Ang secondary traits is about preference. No? Like for example, what color do you want? What, uh, what food uh, do you want? But in this one, this is not about uh, you like. Hinata, take note of the of uh, the uh, desire of Hinata. Okay? Eating he preferred fish. Not because gusto niya yung prefer yung fish or veggies. No? Ginaga, kinakain niya ito not because ito talaga yung gusto niyang pagkain but because of diet. And when you say about diet, that is a form of uh, diba? making of sacrifice to achieve your body or uh, goals. Diba? So that is cardinal. So when you say about cardinal, it's a trait which is determined. Okay? Determine dominant traits. So I want you to take note of that. Okay? The answer is cardinal. Kapag may gusto ka, for example kayo, tulad ni Jerry, di ba? Siya ay nagre-review ng gusto because he wanted to pass the board. Hindi yan common traits, hindi yan central traits, hindi yan secondary traits, yan ay cardinal traits. Okay? Kasi yan yung, uh, yan yung nagdo-dominate sa'yo. Yan yung gusto mong mangyari. Yan yung uh, gagawin mo in order to achieve your goal to become no if not a top notcher a board passer someday di ba so take note of that dito tayo ngayon si Boyong oy Boyong okay with the age of 8 years old has been active to sport and not to his sexual feeling okay sana all active sa sports hindi sa sexual feeling in what stage he is in prude psychosexual theory Nasa anong stage siya kapag ganyan? Anong sagot? Diba meron tayong lima? Meron tayong oral, anal, phallic, Latin C, and genital. Genital, sir. genital, sir. Genital. Okay. Ngayon, what is the answer? Okay, maraming sumagot. Okay, Jerry, anong response ko? Maraming sumagot. Anong response ko? Ah, awitais na naman. Kutya kahit isa wala kang tumama. Ay, meron, meron, may tumama. Jillian, magaling si Jillian. B, sir, B. Jillian, tumama. Okay, uh, yung third year natin, tumama si Jillian. Okay, si Iner, si Gretchen. Okay, Latin C. Una yung age. Kapag isang taon, pababa, anong stage yun? Pakinig, anong stage yun? Isang taon, pababa? Anal, sir. Oral, oral. stage, sir. Okay, oral. Oral, oral. 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 Okay. One year to three years, ilang, uh, ilang edad? One year to three years, ilang edad? Anal stage, sir. Anal. Three years to six years, anong edad? Phallic stage, sir. Phallic stage, okay. And six years to eleven years, anong edad? Latin C. Latin C. Okay, si Jillian, kabisado. Okay. Tinuro ko kay Jillian yun, di ba? Last year pa, Jillian. Last year, last year ko pa, nyo ako naging professor dyan, no? Yes, sir. First sir. Okay. So, guys, ha? Nandito si Jillian. Okay. Uh, guide nyo lang, ha? Third year yan. Okay. Magaling, no? Naalala pa niya. So, Latin C, 6 to 11. 
Eleven onwards. Up to puberty. Eleven genital. to puberty. Genital. Genital, sir. Genital. Genital. Tandaan nyo. Lumalabas ang sexual desire as early as phallic stage. Doon lumalabas. Nawawala yan pagdating ng Latin C. Latin C nawawala yung ano. Yung uh, sexual desire. Bumabalik yan kapag genitalia stage na. But, iba na. Towards, no, to the partner accepted by the norms natin or standards. Okay? Kasi di ba ang una, sexual desire, 3 to 6, pero sa parent. Okay? Nawala yon after Latin C, babalik yan sa genitalia. Sa genitalia, bumabalik yan, but to the opposite sex, not tanggap ng standards or standards or norms ng ating society. Uh, within the standards of our society. And that is genitalia. Okay? So the age bracket from genitalia, 11 years old up to puberty. So kailan ka ba, ano, puberty? Di ba, 15 or 16, nagsisimula ka ng mag, uh, maging adult niyan. Eh. Okay? So I want to... So, malinaw ba, guys? Wala nang nalito. Before yes, we move sir, on. Yes, malinaw. Yes. yes, sir. Yes. Wala nang awit, ha? Okay, let us now proceed. Yes, Malaka. Do you have any uh, question? Malaka? Eh, tumas ang kami si Malaka, eh. Okay, Malaka, Jeffrey, do you have any question? Okay, mukha wala. Parang napindot lang. Next tayo. Oy, dito si Karen. Okay, ah, madali na to, napaliwanag ko na eh. Karen wanted to have a car, however, due to her financial status, she can't able to afford one. One day, she saw a big a bag full of money. She initially thought to use the money, but she decided to return it by posting it to social media accounts. The owner, Pedro, noticed the post and contacted Karen. However, after the turnover, Pedro did not even thank Karen. Hindi man lang nagpasalamat. So what type of trait is this? Anong anong trait ito? Hindi nagpasalamat. Ito, hmm, na to. Nabalik na nga yung pera, pero hindi nagpasalamat. Alam niyo yung parang kay Tulpo, di ba? Nabalik na yung cellphone. Yung uh, ano doon, yung binalik yung cellphone. Sinisi pa yung taxi driver. Okay, di... Kung natatandaan nyo yung episode na yun, So what is the answer for this one? Tandaan nyo. Common and central is just the same. Tanong ko sa inyo. Common ba yung ginawan ka ng mabuti tapos di ka nagpasalamat? Con con common ba sa tao yun? Common ba? Sa tao yun? Okay. Sa tingin mo, di ba hindi? Hindi common. So hindi sagot ang A sa B. Kasi ito ay hindi common. Okay? So what is the answer, Jerry? So letter D ang sagot. Anong sagot doon? Kung letter D. Okay, Jillian, naalala mo ba yung tinuro ko? What is your answer, Jillian? Individual trait, sir. Yon, very good. The answer is individual. Okay, traits. Nasa kanyang sarili na. Eh kung unggoy siya, ganun siya. Okay. Individual, no? Sa tao na. Okay, hindi ito nakikita sa pangkaraniwan. So I want you to remember, the answer is individual traits. Okay, very good, ha? Galing si Jillian, ha? Jillian, where are you? Nasa rin pang bato namin si Jillian. Nako! Uh, yan na, sinasabi ko si Kuya Jade. Okay. So... Oh, si Jerry, tumatawa na rin. Oh, Jeline, where are you, Jeline? Nandito ka ba, Jeline? Okay. Ah, ito na. Ano na natin? Number 10 tayo. Ah, dito tayo. What theory maintains that the failure of man to achieve a higher status of life caused them to commit a crimes in order that the status to be attained? What is the answer? Ayun, nakikinig lang si, G si Jeline. Okay? Yon, very good. Ah, wala nang awit. Okay, ang sagot, letter D. Okay, strain theory. Subculture theory, guys, it is, uh, no, that the youth form a delinquent gang. 
Okay, kaya nagkakaroon ng subculture. When you say about subculture, it pertains to the youth who bonded and formed a uh, a uh, delinquent gangs or delinquent groups, formed into groups, okay? So I want you to remember that. Okay? That is sub when you say about differential association theory, ito yung kumontra kay Cesar Lombroso. No, when you say about criminal or born criminal because according to differential association theory that criminal behavior is learned not inherited yes very good sino ang uh, nag-advocate ng that okay sino anybody it was the advocator yon so the answer is Suterland. Well, neutralization theory, guys, I want you to remember this. They violate the law because it doesn't fit or they have some sort of justifying no, reasons to violate it. May dalawang factor sa neutralization eh. Ano yun? Yung tinatawag na denial of injury. Of injury. Okay? Ayan na. At denial of responsibility. Responsibility. Yan. So, na example ng denial of injury pero neutralization ang ano, ang uh, topic. Ganito. For example, si A bumili ng droga kay B. Si A na drug addict bumili ng droga kay B na pusher. Anong denial ni injury? Okay lang bumili ng drugs. Wala namang kami nasaktan eh. Meron ba kaming nasaktan? So that is neutralization. Ano pa? Denial of responsibility. Okay? Denial of responsibility. Lang mo sa droga, okay? Gumawa ng masama, ng bugbog, ng rape. Ano yung reason niya? Ay, wala akong responsibilidad dyan kasi hindi ko alam yung ginagawa ko eh. Denial of responsibility. Okay? So that is under. Tandaan nyo yung dalawang yan. Ha? Denial of injury and denial of responsibility under the neutralization theory. Dito sa strain theory, para ma, ano nyo, maintindihan nyo palalo, nagkakaroon kasi ng conflict if there is an equal distribution of opportunities to the social classes of people. Yung mga lower class, nade-deprived kasi sila ng opportunity. Kaya ang nangyayari, hindi nila maabot yung goal nila, they will resort to criminality. Ganon. Okay, hindi mo naabot yung goal mo kasi na-deprive ka ng opportunity. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo, ate ka lang, gusto ko ng, ano eh, gusto ko ng uh, magkapera, kumuha ka ng krimen. Okay? So, I want you to remember, yes, frustration. Okay? So, mamaya, may other, ano pa yan, may other situations pa yan that I want to, ano, no? Now, perfectly for string theory. Okay, next. The following is the proponent of uh, cartographic criminology. Except. Ah, uh, okay. Wala pala except. Okay. Yung ano, proponent. Pasensya na guys, ha? Okay. Kararating ko lang kasi sa Tagaytay. Kaya yung pula. Binuksan ito mga po. Okay. So, ano nga sagot dito? Aba, magaling sa mga tao sa kasi theory itong mga bata ko. Pero pag nilagay na sa situational, ano na nangyayari? Awit na. <laughs> okay. Pag definition, kayang-kaya. Pag OBE type, nako, awit. <laughs> so, umpisa natin. Pero pa, ano, tama kayo eh. Kasi lahat, adult uh, quitlet is one. Ha? Hindi lang naman siya ang uh, proponent ng cartographic. When you say about cartographic uh, school of criminology, this is the study of environment and its relation to criminality. No? Kaya nabuhay yung mga positivist, determinism, classical, because dito, nai-relate niya yung environment kumpara sa doon sa criminality. Yun ang tinatawag na cartographic school of criminology. Anong theory ni Albert, uh, Albert Cohen? Cohen. Anong theory niya? Albert Cohen. Ala, nawala. No, pag walang choices, di na alam. Anong theory ni Albert Albert Cohen? Anybody? 
Okay? Yes, pero may isa pa doon siya sumikat. Sinabi ko na kanina. Okay? Subculture. Okay? Theory. Yes, very good, Noemi. Subculture theory. Charles Goring. Ano naman ang contribution ni Charles Goring? Ano ang contribution ni Charles Goring? Okay? Anybody? Nako, hindi na nakilala si Charles Goring. So take note of this, ha? Si Charles Goring, I will explain it in Tagalog so that you could understand it better. Si Charles Goring, guys, siya ay nag-conduct ng study between inmates both on uh, civilian and non-criminal and to the inmates na criminal. No? And he found out, ano na napatunayan niya? Na yung physical structure ng tao ay walang kinalaman sa criminality. He disputed yung argument ni Cesar Lombroso no? na may kinalaman ang physical natin. No, for example, the theory of atavism, okay, and uh, anything, no, yes, anthropological, Thomas Cardenas, no, okay, he disputed the claim of uh, of Cesar Lombroso that the physical structure of a man has a bearing to criminality, no, wala siyang nakitang relation or a very little relation lang between physical structure and criminality. Yes! Okay, kabisado ni Jerry. Hedonism. Aside from that, okay, he created the first what? Jeremy Betham created the first yon Panopticon prison. Hindi. Panopticon, na Okay. Baka... <laughs> Baka mamaya, tingin-tingin kayo sa mga tropa yung malapad ang airport, ha? Not panoptikon. Panoptikon. Okay? Panoptikon preso, uh, prison. Yes! Pain and pleasure principle, eh. Okay? Tama yon Very good. That is hedonism. Pain and pleasure. Okay? Utilitarianism is for the betterment of the majority of people. Kaya sa utilitarianism, Classical theory yan. Kaya natin kinukulong yung isa, magdusa yung isa, para yung nakararami ay maging safe. No? For the betterment of the majority. For the good of the majority. Okay? So take note of that. Human calculator. Okay, next. Okay, dito tayo. Okay, ito. Nasagot na natin to no? Strain theory. E dito tayo. Construction of barricades. Okay? and traffic island and strict implementation of jaywalking law along EDSA to separate pedestrian from people with vehicles is a clear indication of what? Anong sagot? Okay. Naglagay ng mga barikada at traffic island sa EDSA. Para hindi maabala yung mga sasakyan, para yung mga tao hindi makapag-jaywalking para mahiwala yung may sasakyan sa wala. What is the answer? Naglagay sila ng jaywalking law, strict implementation ng jaywalking law. Gumamit lang din sila ng traffic engineering na traffic island so that itong mga taong walang kotse ay ma-separate. Okay? So what is the answer? Lahat nako. No, may a sure Darius B, Gerson B. Okay? So take note of this. Okay? I want you to remember. Well, ano me, lack of values, lack of norms. No, that uh, once uh bonded the community with a good uh, uh in, in good morality. So hindi ano me. Kasi what we are talking about here is the use of law to deprive the person from uh, the lower class of person. Okay? Anong sagot? Hindi anomi. Kasi when you say about anomi, it's about norms or values. Okay? 
And we are not talking about values here. We are talking about law. Ano yung tawag sa you are making law to control the lower class. Okay, yun ang ano ko, di ba? Gumawa ka ng batas, gumawa silang batas at ng rules para itong mga walang kotse, siyempre, we can determine that lower, lower class, ay makontrol nila na hindi pa kalat-kalat. Okay? No, at subculture, kasi pinaliwanag ko na, di ba? Yung subculture is the uh, formation of delinquent gangs by the youth. No, nagbubuo-buo yung mga bata ng isang grupo, then nagiging delinquente. Okay? So that, hindi naman pwede kasi that is, uh, you learn criminal behavior from others. So this is not about the law. What is the answer? Anong theory yan? The answer is D. Okay? Awitans. For the fourth level. <laughs> okay lang yan. Kasi sociology of crimes yan eh. Di ba? Yun! Very good. Galing ni Aisa. Okay. Uh, Aisa, baka meron mag-PM sa'yo ah. Aisa, review tayo as a friend. No? Review tayo as a friend sa Baguio. Wow! Sarap mag-review sa Baguio. As a friend. Tama si Aisa. So take note of that instrumentalist. You use the law to control the lower class. Okay. Sabi ni Rendell, friends with benefits. Okay. O oh, naman, ang benefits doon, you are helping each other. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Ay, nasa Baguio na si Aisa. Oh. Naghihintay na lang, guys. Kung sino man daw gustong umunta sa Baguio, umunta na ron. Okay. <laughs> Ayan. Send look. <laughs> Review as a friend. Dito ka na lang sa nasa. Oh, send look, kahit. Si Cardenas, kahit kunyari, nasa Mindanao yan, pag sinabing, eto location ko, nako, mapapapunta yan. No? Na, guys, we are nationwide. Meron tayong kasama dito, taga Mindanao, taga Cavite, taga Batanga. So, from all no, parts of the Philippines, nandito tayo. Oy, si Jomar, nasa, nasa Batanga. Batangas rin. here. Batanga si Gerson, di ba? Iloko, e, sir. Iloko tayo rito. Ayun, Sambuanga. So, maganda, nagkakakilala-kilala tayo rito. Okay. So, this is not... Leti uh... po, sir. Okay, dito tayo. Anong sagot dito? Kaya alam na to. <laughs> okay, good morning sa iyo, Herman. Sa Isabella. Then, Julie. Yan. Kilala ko yan. Sultan ko darat yan. Si, si Julie. Ano, Julie? Kamusta? Na-PM mo na ba? Si Trina? Sorry, Gaw. Leti, no? So... I hope that you are safe, uh, Cardenas, Quezon Province. Kami dito. Dito lang kami sa Metro Manila, nila Dennis. <laughs> yes, Agulo, Tacloban. Okay, guys, what is the answer here? Okay, ano sagot? Anay, paliwanag ko na to, kanina. Yun, Kamotis Island pa, bilo mo, no? Cebu. Okay, uh, good evening sa'yo dyan, uh, Marby. Tutoy is experiencing pleasure by playing his genitals starting to develop. Na ano ko na to, no? na lecture ko na to sa inyo kanina. So, this should be easy. Anong sagot dito? What is the answer? Take note, starting to develop sexual attraction. Anong sagot? Okay, sabi ni Arben Odipo, sabi ni Jerry Oral, Ako, si Jerry talaga parang diesel, hindi pa nagiinit. Okay, sabi ni John Paul Oral, sabi ni J.D. Okay? yon Very good, Nikki Okay? Very good, Nikki Ang sagot, palik stage. Okay? Palik. Hindi pwedeng Oedipus. Tandaan yung Oedipus complex. This is the phenomenon which happened during the palic stage. Okay? Ito yung phenomenon na nagkakaroon ng sexual attraction. But when you say about at this stage, siya ay nagkakaroon ng pleasure by playing his genitals and starting to develop, is anong stage yan? The answer is palic. So meron lang tayong lima. Oral, anal, palic, Latin, si genitalia. Okay? So take note of that. Ang Oedipus at Electra is a phenomenon within the palic stage. So take note of this. So, 
Tandaan nyo, no? Kapag nagkaroon ng faulty development in the oral stage, kunyari tinanong kayo sa board exam, okay? What if there is a faulty development during the uh, oral stage? One years old siya. Oral stage deprivation. Kunyari ang bata, hindi na pa sus, ay sus, parang basus, na pa, dede, ay hindi, pangit din, na pa milk. Okay, na pa milk. <laughs> parang ano tayo dito ah, patnubay ng magulang ah. Okay. <laughs> hindi na pa, na, nabigyan ng gatas, yun na lang. <laughs> hindi na bigyan ng gatas. Okay. Well, copy na lang, I, I have copy. Okay. Sino ba dito yung matanda na eh? Dumedede pa rin. <laughs> so, take note. Gabi no? Agulio. Ngayon, <laughs> si Cardenas. <laughs> so, tandaan nyo, kapag one, meron deprivation ka sa oral uh, oral stage, kunyari, hindi ka nagkar nagkaroon ng faulty development, hindi hindi nasunod yung uh, yung ano mo, no? yung, uh, yung ano mo doon, na gugutom ka lagi, hindi ka napapadede, okay? Hindi ka napapadede. Feed, okay, breastfeed. Okay, breastfeed tuloy. Lalo ako napaisip. So, ang results nun, okay, ang results nun, ikaw ay prone to, number one, smoking. You are prone to being a uh, uh, incl inclination to uh, alcoholic drinks. no? So, yung mga ganong bagay, na ikaw ay madaling maadik sa sigarilyo at maging lasingkero, it ano, traces nung one years old pa lang na merong faulty development sa iyong palik. As, I'm sorry, sa inyong oral stage. Paano naman kung nagkaroon ng faulty development sa anal? Sa anal stage kasi ito yung trainable ka, toilet train, no? Training to eh. Toilet training. Okay? Ng parents mo. It's either dalawa. Okay? Dalawa yan. Kapag strict ang implementation, hindi tama, pero yung lenient, dalawa yan eh. Kung ang toilet training during the anal stage ay strict, lumalaki yung bata na perfectionist, na ayaw magkamali, which is also abnormal. Nagiging uh, faulty development din yun. Siyempre, di ba? Nagiging paranoid yung bata because paglaki, Because he wanted to be perfect. Kapag strict ang implementation nun. Kapag lenient naman, yung bata nagiging messy, careless, walang pakialam. So, ganon ang result. So, I want you to remember of this. Baka gawin kasi example eh. What will happen to a person if he encounters a faulty development during the anal stage? Yan. Careless, irresponsible, messy. Yun ang mga ano dyan. No, kapag sa oral stage naman, okay, nagkaroon ng faulty development, okay, nagkakaroon ng, uh, yon smoking, drinking, addicting, so take note of that. So let us now proceed to this one. Oh, eto si Empoy. Okay. So, Empoy belongs to a family, okay, where he, uh, Where always uh, rivalries between uh, members, okay? Members. Okay, medyo na ano dito sa aking ano. It, uh, like exchange argument uh, to, to physical harming every time he goes to work. He cannot focus easily thinking that there is a rivalry happening in his house. What neurotic behavior does employ have? What is your answer? Okay, si Empoy ay palagi nag-aaway ang kanilang uh, pamilya. Okay? And then, nag-aaway yung pamilya niya, then kahit wala siya sa bahay, naiisip pa rin niya yung rivalry sa kanilang bahay. What neurotic, even if he doesn't want to think of it, talagang naiisip niya. What is the answer for that? Okay? So, si Kaones, B, si D, Michael, uh, D, si Gloriani, D, okay, si Reynaldo, A, si Jomar, uh, Paulo, Darius, okay, Lawson, 
Okay, uh, Jade, uh, Joshias, Reggie, okay, Keisha, Glorendel, D, 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 okay, Puro D, okay, D, 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 A, 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 may isang B, okay, si Jillian B, okay, si Frances B, sa karamihan, anong sagot ko, Jerry, pakiulit-ulit? Awitize, sir. Awitize, okay. Awit tayo to the pip level. Hangga umabot tayo sa isang milyong level na. Puro awit. Okay. So take note of this. Okay? I want you to remember na itong pangyayaring ito, itong uh, anxiety, traumatic experience sa kanya, na pag-aaway ng magulang, he was forced or compelled. Okay? Compelled to think. So that is when you say about compelling others to do what he doesn't want to, okay, that is obsessive compulsive disorder. Kahit ayaw niyang isipin, pumapasok at pumapasok sa utak niya yung pag-aaway kasi ito lagi yung nangyayari. Okay? Katulad, for example, uh, hindi natin maano, di ba, yung mga magulang natin. Okay? Minsan nagkamali tayo. Kunyari na-involve tayo sa drugs. Every time na tayo gagabihin because yung uh, parents natin nagkaroon na ng obsessive compulsive disorder kahit wala kang ginagawang mali basta ginabi ka ang iisipin nila no kasama na naman saan ka na naman nag-aaddict ka na naman okay so take note of that that is what you call compulsive disorder okay when you say about uh, asthenic Pag sinabi mong asthenic, guys, ito yung nakaka-feel ka ng pain, okay, uh, and mental fatigue. For example, in the long run, kasi ang uh, keyword nyo rito, chronic, uh, chronic sa asthenic, chronic mental and physical fatigue. Because of the anxiety, frustration na nararanasan mo, or depression, okay, nagkakaroon ka ng, minsan masakit ang ulo, Minsan kahit you are not tired, you don't want to get up, di ba? So that is asthenic. Eh, when you say about uh, phobic guys, ito yung uh, persistent fear that even though this uh, would not possess any danger to you, kahit walang danger, natatakot ka. For example, tubig, di ba? Hydrophobia ka. Okay, that is phobic disorder. Eh, hindi ka naman mamamatay kapag nalagyan ka, nabuhusan ka ng tubig. But because hydrophobia ka, takot ka sa water. Now, why that is, okay, yes, no actual danger. Ibig sabihin, wala talagang danger yon. So, I want you to remember that. That is phobic disorder. Okay, let us now proceed to this one. Okay. Okay, bodies of belief, stories usage handed from one generation to generation with the effect of unwritten law. What is the answer? Bodies of beliefs, stories, okay, usage, handed delta from... Share, tradition. Okay, the answer is Delta. Very good. When you say about courtesy, ito yung respect, okay, usually granted for the officers. Okay, social decorum, ito yung actions mo during an event. When you say about customs, this is the common, okay? Uh, common na nangyayari, okay, customs. Let us now proceed to this one, okay? Ito, maganda to. It is the doing, either through ignorance, inattention, or malice of that which the office officer had no legal right to do at all, as where he acts without any authority, whatsoever or exceeds, ignores, or abuses power. What is the answer? Wow. Nakasagot agad si Ervin. Pati si Iner. Okay. Anong sagot? Yun. Wala ng awit. Okay. Sir, sobra ka na. Huwag naman puro awit. <laughs> so, tandaan nyo, no? With regards to the... Uh, administrative cases that can be committed by uh, government officers, specifically the police, 
there are three broad category of this. Una, non-peasants. What do you mean by non-peasants? Ano ibig sabihin na non-peasants? Other terminology niya. O meaning? Walang ginawa, sir. Neglect of? Duty. Duty. Yes. Tama ka. Tama ka, Jerry. Walang ginawa. Neglect of? Duty. Non-peasants is neglect of duty. Itatype ko para makita niya. Non-peasants is neglect of duty. Okay? Take note of that. Pangalawa, Miss Peasants. What do you mean by Miss Peasants? What do you mean by Miss Peasants? Anong ibig sabihin ng Miss Peasants? Part dito ng police ethics, guys, ha? Yon, Very good now, me. Irregularities. Sumobra. In the performance of duty. Okay. Wag, uh, wag, wag yung term na sumobra. Kasi magkakaroon ng wrong interpretation for that. Mamaya, I will uh, going to explain it when you say about misfeasance. And then, malfeasance is misconduct. Okay, ngayon, kung ang malpisans at mispisans ang pag-uusapan natin, okay, ang nag-handle ng misconduct ng isang police officer, it depends to what a uh, type of misconduct he, commit, uh, he uh, committed or he, uh, he has done. Kasi, for example, if the misconduct involves a crime, so there is a, tandaan nyo, no? There is a number of days of suspension kapag based on the gravity of the action. Okay? Kasi, kung for example, meron misconduct ang police, sinuntok ka, misconduct yun eh, sinuntok ka. Okay? Kanino ka pwedeng mag- Nagreklamo. Of course, there is IAS. There is NAPOLCOM. There is TULPO. <laughs> Nasali na sa disciplinary body, no? <laughs> Nasali na. Pero I want you to remember these three specific uh, offices wherein you can file the citizen's complaint. Kasi pag may ginawang mali ang police, ang tawag doon, citizen's complaint. Pero, Arben, don't be ano, ha, confused. Hindi lahat sa pleb pinapile. Gaya na sinabi ko, there are three. It depends upon the number of number of suspension and penalties. Take note. Paano kung sinampal ka ng police? At yung administrative case niyan, misconduct, okay, meron lang parusa na sampung suspension. Okay, saan mo ipapile? Sampung araw na suspension, saan mo ipapile ang case kapag sampung araw lang ang suspension? Okay? Saan mo ipapile? No, not in pleb. Kanino mo ipapile? Take note. Yun, very good ka honest. Chief of police, very good. Yan. Chief of police. How about if the penalty of suspension is more than 15 but under 30? Kanino mo ipapile ang administrative or citizen's complaint? Mayor, very good. Okay? Pangatlo, kapag 30 days of suspension or more to dismissal, kanino mo ipapile? Pag 30 days up to dismissal, pleb. Okay? Pleb, the answer. Okay, not napul kong Jerry. Okay, may sumagot na rab. Okay, ganito yan, no? Uh, may sumagot na rab. Pag sinabi, abin ni Irvin, pag sinabi mong rab, hindi siya pwedeng, hindi ka dito pwedeng mag-file ng kaso. Ito ay appellate body. Kumbaga, this is the uh, remedy or chance of the accused para mag-appeal. Kaya nga, appellate eh. Regional Appellate Board and National Appellate Board. Okay? Appellate, Jerry, ha? not appeal. Regional Appellate Board, 
Oh, hindi discuss ko pa lang sana sa bier, sa biyernes sa inyo yan eh. Sa police organization. Okay. So, National uh, uh, Regional Appellate Board and National Appellate Board. Okay? Pag sinabi mong Regional Appellate Board, tinanong kanina ni Ervin. Okay? Tinanong kanina ni Ervin. Pwede kang mag-appeal kapag ang desisyon galing kay Mayor, galing kay COP, galing kay PLEB, at galing kay Regional Director. Take note of this magnificent four. Okay, ah, uh, Gerson, pakitanggal yung iyong ano. Ayan. Para hindi natabunan yung ating ano. Pindot lang okay, siya. Okay, let's to the topic. Okay, kamali lang ng pindot si ano. Okay, stop sharing ko muna. Medyo nagloko sa akin. Konti. Okay, isi-share ko ulit. Ayan. Okay, so please remember ha, I want you to take note. Apat yan. Okay? Magnificent four. <laughs> so I want you to remember. Pag kapag ikaw ay sinuspende ni Hepe, okay? Sinuspende ka ni Mayor, tinanggal ka ni Pleb, <laughs> dinismiss ka ni Pleb, or dinismiss ka, or sinuspende ka ni Regional Director, Saan ka pwede mag-apila? Saan ka pwede mag-apila? Anong sagot? Rab. Okay, Rab. Rab, hindi national. Okay? Rab, hindi national. Okay, so take note of that, ha? Okay? Yung, uh, saka ko na ipapaliwanag ng Toro Lian, kasi Leia yan eh. Ipapaliwanag ng Toro Lian kapag ano, kapag nasa layan na tayo ng uh, final coaching. Okay? Nang every ano natin. Kasi mauubusan na tayo sa layan yan. <laughs> Papaliwanag ko na lang ngayon. O kaya, okay, magpunta kayo kay Sir Chaps sa Viernes. Papaliwanag ko lahat yan. Okay? Sa ACLC. Okay? Uh, Kontakin niyo Sir, Sir Chaps. Pajoin kami. <laughs> so yun, papaliwanag ko lahat yan. Okay, let, let us now proceed to this one. Pero don't worry. No? Nasa sociology of crimes lang tayo. Pag napunta na tayo sa Lea, then lahat ng yan, concern nyo dyan, sasagutin ko. About IAS, about National Appellate Board, kasi baka abutin tayo dito ng <laughs> alas stress na madaling araw. <laughs> okay. So let us now proceed to this one. Maawa kay Cesar Santos nyo, galing pa ako tagaytay, then may pasok pa ako bukas. Okay, punta na tayo rito. Okay, isa pa ang ano, discussion, di ba? Kanina, pinag-usapan natin. Non-peasants, mis-peasants, mal-peasants. I just want you to understand anong pagkakaiba ng dalawa, ng mis-peasants and mal-peasants. Sinabi natin kanina, ang mis-peasants, irregularity in the performance of duty. Yung mal-peasants is about misconduct. So what is the... Big difference between the two. Ano yung malaking diferensya sa kanila? Ito tanong ko, una. Okay? Si PO1, okay? Si PO1, uh, kunyari, patrolman uh, San Goku. San Goku, nung putsa ang gala, lakas naman patrolman ito. He arrested Frieza. Prisa resisted, slightly resisted. Ayon niya, no? medyo bumipiglas ng konti, pero hindi lumalaban. San Goku drug him. No? Kinila niya, kinaladkad niya, nasugatan si Prisa sa balat. No? Habang kinakaladkad ni San Goku, si Prisa during the arrest. Okay? What type? Okay? Si, si San Goku use extra force. Hindi lang reasonable force. Okay? So gumamit siya ng matinding pwersa to arrest. Not reasonable. Ayon ang tanong, ano ito? Non-peasants, mis-peasants, o mal-peasants? Anong sagot? 
What is the answer? Teka lang, ba't hindi ito? Hindi nag-update dito sa laptop ko. Sa, Miss oh, Pisans. Miss Pisans. Miss Pisans, sir. Tama kayo doon. Miss Pisans, ha? Ito naman. Itong uh, sunod na question ko. Okay? Si Patrolman Connor. Ano, UFC, UFC, ano, ha? UFC fighter. He arrested a number of prostitutes. And then, in the police station, he offered some of the prostitutes, no, two choices. You either to have sex with me, or you will go to jail. Ano? Malpisan, sir. Malpisan, sir. Okay, tama ulit kayo. Ngayon, based on my two situations, anong pinagkaiba ng dalawa? Malpisan, Malpisan. So, nakita niyo yung unang sitwasyon ko? Okay, ginagawa niya yung trabaho niya. Nakaladkad niya. He used a uh, uh, excessive force. Yung isa naman, ginagawa rin yung trabaho niya. Nanghuli ng mga prostitutes. Pero pagdating sa station, inoperan niya. Nang, uh, oh, laya ka na. To have, uh, mag-sex muna tayo. Ngayon, doon sa dalawa na sinabi niyo, mispisans at malpisans, Ano ang pagkakaiba? Anong napansin nyo? Yun, very good. Intention. Okay? So, take note. Kapag may negligence, culpable, okay? Imprudence, negligence, okay? Fault. Ang police, unintentional, pupunta yan sa misfeasance or may ignorance. pupunta yan sa mis kapag intentional pupunta yan sa malpisans it can be during the performance in duty yung dalawa except lang sa malpisans pwedeng during the performance of duty or while in the performance of duty or kahit na of duty siya okay samantalang ang misfeasance nakukumit lang yan during the performance of duty kaya nga tinawag irregularities in the performance of duty But the big difference is yung misfeasance, negligence, ignorance, imprudence, okay, lack of knowledge, samantalang ang malpisans, malicious or intentional. So take note of that. Malicious or intentional. Nang huli ka, tapos ang huli ka, di ba? Alam mo naman hindi ito drug pusher, pero gusto magkapera, that is malpisans. Okay? That is malpisans. So take note of that. Okay? Uh, not necessarily is na may crime ang ma may crime, ang misfeasance din naman may crime eh. Okay? But the big difference here is about malicious and intentional, that is malpisans, while misfeasance is negligence, culpable. unintentional or because of ignorance. Okay? Kunyari, hindi niya alam yung batas na yan and then, ginawa niya, akala niya tama, akala ng polis tama, okay? So, that will fall to uh, misfeasance. So, I want you, o oh, malinaw na ba? Guys, malinaw na ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa. Any yes, question? Sir. In okay. sir. Yon, very good. Malinaw na, Okay. So ito nasa tanong na to. Dito tayo. What is the purpose of courtesy of newly assigned PNP members in a unit of command call in the chief and other key personnel of the command? What is the answer? Ano ang rason bakit kailangan mo mag courtesy call sa lahat ng opisyal kapag bagong assign ka sa isang unit? Under to ng police ethics. Anong sagot? The answer is what? C. Okay, so take note. The answer here is B. All of the above. Okay? Not only for the matter of courtesy, but for orientation and for accounting purpose. Okay? Para malaman, nakita ni Chief Admin, nag-report ka, sir, courtesy call. 
Apa, may bagong polis tayo. So, ililista niya. May bagong polis tayo. Imbis na 490 lang tayo, 491 na. Okay? Orientation. Mapunta ka kay operations officer. Oh, itong trabaho mo. Ito, dito ka maa-assign. So, that is also ay, an orientation. At most importantly, courtesy call because of a matter of courtesy. Okay? So, take note of that. Ha? The answer is letter B. Okay, 21 na tayo. Nako. Basic. Okay. Pag may nagkamali pa dito, uh, ayaw na. <laughs> ano sagot? Anong sagot? What is the answer? Okay. Misconduct and malfeasance is the same. So what is the answer? Asia. Okay, Jano say it's A. Okay. Yes, okay. The answer is letter A. A performance of some um, acts which might lawfully done. Okay. Dito tayo ngayon. Ayan. Mr. Pilak experiences loss of control of his legs. Okay. When standing and walking due to overthinking and excitement for revenging to his previous enemy, no? Excited siya kasi gaganti siya, abangan niya yung kaaway niya. No? Aabangan niya, bubugbugin niya yung kaaway niya. However, sa sobrang pagka-excited niya, nawalan siya ng control sa kanyang hita. Ano kaya makipagsuntukan ka, no? <laughs> Tapos habang makikipagsuntukan ka na, na experience mo to na sobrang excited mo na walang ka ng control sa legs mo. Pucha bugbog ka yun. <laughs> Ikaw ngayon na nabugbog. <laughs> Tanging masasabi mo na lang habang sinasaba ka, awit, awit. <laughs> so, he suffers from what? Anong sagot? Okay? Anong sagot? Na out of balance. Anong sagot? Ang hirap nun, Jerry, no? Laban na laban ka tapos nawalan ka. Okay. Letter C, sir. Yes, okay. The answer is letter C. So I want you to take note of that, okay? Letter C ang sagot. Ang galing. Kasi pag sinabi mong hypochondriasis, di ba? Eh, when you say about, ito yung excessive uh, concern ka about sa health mo. Okay? Uh, concern na concern ka sa health mo. Excessive, abnormal ka na nun. Okay? So, kapag naman, uh, okay, sinabi mong uh, psychogenic, okay, ito yung uh, yeah, naka-experience ka ng anxiety na may kasamang pain. Yes, tama. But, when you say about hysteria, hysteria is otherwise known as what? It is otherwise known as what? Guys, otherwise known as conversion. Okay? So, take note of that. No? Yung hysteria, tinatawag din yang otherwise known Conver as okay, conversion disorder. So, I want you to remember May dalawang ano yan, no? Paralay, par paralysis and paresis. Tanong ko lang, no? Yung para paralysis o paresis, magkapareho ba yon o magkaiba? Magkapareho ba ang paralysis at paresis? Magkaiba, sir. Yun. Anong pinagkaiba nila? Amak. Mark. Wala. Do you have any idea? Pag sinabi mo kasing paralysis, total, the word is total or general malfunction of body. Meaning to say, wala ka talagang hindi mo ito maigagalaw, hindi mo ito, ma, wala ka na talagang control o hindi mo na ito kaya pang igalaw. Okay, general uh, paralysis o tinatawag natin loss or mal, uh, malfunction. Pag sinabi mong paresis, weakening lang ito. 
no sobrang hina lang ng parts ng katawan mo ito weakening of a certain parts of the body okay so i want you to remember that yes no reduction or weakening no so i want you to take note of this okay so the answer dito is uh, hysteria okay so i want you to take note dito na tayo eto alam na alam to okay so who advocated the theory that people mindedness ay po sa nila kayang kaya nakita lang yan eh alam na okay a uh, person is unable to appreciate uh, his behavior or appreciate the meaning of the law okay so take note of that anong sagot what is the answer for this Okay, alam yan. Basic. Anong sagot? Nako, inaantok na yung aking mga bata. B, sir. Okay. What is the answer? B, sir. Sumagot ng B. Aba, iba-iba. May A, may B. So, take note. Feeble-mindedness. Ano yon? When you say about feeble-mindedness, is the consequences of his behavior appreciating the meaning of the law. Yon! Very Dadag, good word. Dadag. That is R.H. Goddard of the Calicax, the study of the Calicax family. Richard Dubdale, siya naman yung kay Duke's family, di ba? So the answer is people-minded. Kapag people-minded, that is your keyword, no? Ang sagot ay Goddard. So I want you to remember that. Okay? So, I want you to take note. The answer is Godard. Okay? Next tayo rito. Ayan. Alam na alam na to. The code of a person name adopted the principle of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Ingo Morabi, sir. Hammurabi, sir. Okay? sir. Okay? Hammurabi code. Ngayon, Okay, Hammurabi is derived from the uh, ancient uh, law, uh, Latin maxim na tinatawag natin na uh, law of uh, Lex Talionis. Okay, tama si, uh, no, which means, what do you mean, what is the meaning of Lex Talionis, Jerry? I to I, tit to tit, sir. And then, literal meaning ng Lex Talionis. Literal, literal meaning. meaning. Law of retribution. Yon. Law of retribution or law of retaliation. I... So I want you to remember. Law of retaliation or law of ret retribution. It's the same. So take note of that. No? Yes, retributive justice. So an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Meaning to say, if you cut the arm of your victim in the Hammurabi Code, your arm should also be cut. Okay? Pag sinabing based on Hammurabi Code, an eye for an eye, what type of theory ang lapat dyan? Okay? This is the basis of the theory which is called what? Classical. Ano? Yon, very good, Nikki. Classical principle. So I want Alam you to remember. Nikki. Okay. So mantalang ang cartographic theory yan ang naging basis ng positivist at determinism. Okay. So let us now proceed to this one. Okay, twenty-four. Uh, ayon kaya to crisis management. Abu Sayyaf means what? Alpha sir. Alpha sir. Alpha sir. sir. Alpha sir. Sir in barrier. Third beer, okay. So Birer. there's ah. no need for any explanation. <laughs> alam na alam yun yan. Okay, next tayo. Eto, Mr. Castillo has been in in uh, has always been invited by his friends, okay, in their hangouts. Despite such pack, Castillo always want to be fetched in his house. If not. He does not join. Castillo is suffering from what? 
Anong sagot? What is the answer? Major A, dependent personality. Okay. Many of you have answered it uh, dependent, okay? Uh, personality disorder, okay? So, Narcissic. take this, uh, take note of this, no? This was asked in the uh, board exam, okay? Probably uh, 2017, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So, when you say about dependent, okay, personality disorder. So, when you say about this one, extreme dependence to other people of being alone, lack of self-confidence, and feeling of helpless. So, when you say about... Uh, Dependent, it's about, no, not about you're going to hang out, you're going to your uh, friends. It's all about you cannot survive without the aid of your friend. So like for example, no, hindi ka nagkatrabaho kahit you are capable to work. Okay? And umaasa ka lang sa magulang mo kasi you already developed that. That is dependent. Okay? Pero dito, okay, the most prop, the proper answer for this one, the uh, closest answer is narcissistic. Okay? Why? Because exaggerated self-importance, that is your keyword. Okay? Number one, ini-invite ka na ng friends mo. Okay? And then, gusto mo Magpasundo ka pa. Kung hindi, okay, okay. hindi ka pupunta. So that is not a sign of dependent. That is a sign of narcissistic. No? Kasi the word na he does not join, okay, ayaw niya, uh, does not join, hindi ako pupunta dyan pag hindi niyo ako sinundo. Yes, lack of empathy, doon na rin, tama. So merong no, exaggerated self-importance. No? Masyado mataas ang tingin mo sa sarili mo na kailangan ka nila uh, sunduin kung gusto nilang isama ka. Okay? Ang dependent kasi, more of survival eh. So more of uh, you're going to survive, you're not going to survive without the aid of another. Okay? Yes, tama, as molo. But don't be confused about uh, this one, okay, about number dito sa tinatawag nating narcissistic at paranoid. Sa paranoid kasi, meron din dong phrase na you are always right, which is also a sign ng narcissistic, na lagi kang tama. Okay? But your keyword is exaggerated. Kapag exaggerated na Okay? That is narcissistic. Tama, Jillian. Talino talaga ni Jillian, no? Blaming others. Okay? Parang ito yung always pretend. Yes, tama. Small o. When you say about histrionic naman, okay? Pag sinabi mong histrionic, immaturity, excitability, yung uh, too much excitability, maturity, yan tinatawag na rin self-dramatization. Okay? Self-pity. Ayan. No? Uh, lagi nagpapaawa. Okay? Madaling ma-excite. Uh, immature. Okay? But not imbecile. Kasi iba ang imbecile, ha? When you say about imbecility, ano nga pala yung age para masabi natin uh, age of the capa uh, capacity, uh, the brain capacity of a imbecile person is like the brain capacity of how old? Gaano ka ano? Yon, very good, uh, Jade. Galing ni Jade, uh, 2 to 7. Okay? Yun yung uh, dapat na brain capacity para matawag ka na isang imbecile. Okay? Kapag ikaw ay imbecile, if you committed the crime, you are exempted. Okay? Ngayon, ang question ko, is there any, okay, 
uh, lucid interval factor kapag imbisil ka? Meron bang lucid interval factor yan? Yes or no? Okay. Yon very good. Because the explanation, walang lucid interval because an imbecile is always an imbecile. Okay? Walang time na hindi siya imbecile. So, please remember that. Okay? Let us now proceed to the others. Okay? The answer here is narcissistic. Okay, guys, i-take note nyo, ha? I-take note nyo yung sagot. Para pag pinasa ko sa inyo itong reviewer, pag pinasa ko sa inyo, I-ano nyo na yung sagot? Kasi nga, pagpapasa ko, wala naman nakalagay na sagot dyan. Okay? So, you need to take note of the answer. Yes. Sir, may nagkat. Ayan. Pedro was drinking beer when suddenly one of his peers told him he has no direction in life. Sab sabi niya, Oy, PI ka. Wala ka ng direksyon. Hindi ka magiging successful. O, sanggala, no? Pedro got so mad, intensely mad, that he drew his foldable knife and attempted to kill his friend. Okay? Yes! Tama ka, Jade. Ang insanity may lucid interval yan. Okay? Pedro, show what type of personality disorder. Di, sir. Di. Galing ni, ano ha? Jeline, where are you? Ikaw, Jeline, ha? Bukang... Uh, meron kaya lang uh, ka-review my friend eh. <laughs> okay. I don't. Oh, where's Jeline? Bakang ano ah. Bukang wala na si Jeline, hindi na sumasagot. Okay, <laughs> si uh, Keisha Lahat. Very good. Borderline. Okay, when you say about borderline, is the manic change of mood. Okay, drastic shift of moods. Okay. Especially, uh, ano to, intense anger. Characterized by intense anger. So, I want you to remember that. Okay? So, pag sinabi mo naman kasi uh, uh, paranoid uh, personality disorder, ito yung uh, ikaw ay very suspicious or very strict, uh, like hyper, or, eh, pwede ka rin maging hypersensitive. Okay? So, take note of that. That is also... Uh, yes, NB, no? uh, mainggitin ka rin. Or jealous. Okay? Paranoid din yun. So, let's uh, proceed to this one. Okay. Ayan, alam na alam. Ano sagot? Absence okay, of words. Sir. Anomy. Okay, sir. Anomy. Anomy, okay. sir. Anomy. Wala na. Sureball na yan. Next tayo. Okay? What pillar of criminal justice is responsible in the evaluation of evidence? What is the answer? Prosecution. Prosecution, sir. Okay, another Court, sir. Court. Okay, malito. Court ang nag evaluate ng ebidensya. Although meron tayong tinatawag na preliminary investigation on the part of the prosecution. For two all evidence will be evaluated by the court. Korte ang mag evaluate niyan. Kung ano yung bigat niyan. Okay? Pero may initial uh, uh, hearing that will determine if there is a probable cause. Okay? Kapag may preliminary investigation. Okay? Yan ang ginagawa ng prosecutor. Pwede, pwede nang sa prosecutor pa lang if the evidence uh, is insufficient, ay hindi na ito maisang pa sa korte. Okay? But when you say about the evaluation of evidence to prove the guilt of the accused or the innocence of the accused, and walang gagawa niya kung di court. Okay? So good evening sa iyo, Gretchen. Uh, andito ka na rin? 29. Dito tayo. Good evening, sir. Okay. Hi, Gretchen. Complaint was filed against Gabriel okay. Swindler. Daming Swindler ngayon. Daming manloloko ngayon. Lahat okay. manloloko, sir. Yes. Okay. After preliminary examination, the judge issued a warrant of arrest. Okay. P.O. 1 Kim went to the house of Gabriel and arrested him. When Gabriel demanded to see the warrant of arrest, sabi ni Kim, papakita ko mamaya. 
Okay. Papakita ko mamaya. Okay. What did PO1 Kim conduct? Legal. Ano ang ginawa ni PO1 Kim? Ito ba ay legal arrest? Legal arrest. Legal arrest. Legal arrest, sir. Legal detention or legal arrest? Anong sagot? Warrantless arrest. Okay. Paki ano ha? Paki sulat. Okay. Warrantless arrest, sir. Nangyayari lang kapag kakot. Hindi ako. Sumagot na puro C. Ang dami ng C. Okay. May sumagot na B. May sumagot na D. Konti lang ang D. Tapos konti lang ang B. Marami C. Okay. So. Sa mga sumagot ng letter B. Okay, Jerry. Ano ang respond ko? Awi tayo, sir. Awi tayo. Okay. To the sixth level. Bakit naging illegal ang arrest? Eh, may warrant of arrest nga na inisyo. Tandaan nyo, no, holding the warrant of arrest in an actual arrest to execute it is not necessary. Hindi importante na hawak mo ang warrant of arrest kapag nag-aaresto ka. For example, nakita mo yung most wanted ng Manila. Namamalengke. Ikaw din, namamalengke ka, pulis ka. At ika lang, ito yung most wanted. Hindi naman all the time dala mo ang warrant of arrest. Okay? Yes, Pwede mo siyang hulihin. And you will show the warrant of arrest as soon as practicable. Ibig sabihin nun, Ipapakita mo yung warrant of arrest sa lalong madaling panahon. Okay? Yes, pwede. So, ang sagot, Delta. Okay? Hindi illegal arrest yan. Tandaan nyo, hindi yan katulad ng search warrant na kailangan daladala mo kapag i-execute mo. Ang warrant of arrest can be executed even hindi mo ito dala. Okay, so I want you to take note of that. Okay. Ngayon, I have a question regarding sa arrest. Okay? Kunyari, si Patrolman Master Pogi. Okay, Master Pogi. No? Was arresting itong si, for example, arrest niya si Sasuke. Ina-aresto ni Master Pogi si Sasuke. Sasuke is resisting. Okay? But not fighting. Okay? Nakita ni Pedro na nahihirapan si uh, Master Pogi ipasok sa mobile car. So, Pedro helped the police no? to put si, uh, yung suspect sa mobile car. Okay? Ngayon, si Sasuke sinipa. Okay? Sa bayag. No? Sinipa sa bayag. Not the police, but si Pedro. What is the crime committed by this accused? Anong crime na na-commit? Direct assault, sir. Sabi ni Jerry, direct assault. Sabi ni Jonas, physical injury. Sabi ni Darius, physical injury. Sabi ni Julia Jade, Okay, indirect. Sabi ni Rendel, physical injury. Sabi ni Virgilio, direct. Physical injury, direct. So marami sumasagot ng direct uh, direct uh, assault. May sumasagot ng physical injury, konti. May sumasagot ng konti ng indirect assault. Ano ang sagot? Okay, Gillian, ano ang sagot mo, Gillian? Uh, are you still here? Direct, okay. sir. Ang police ba person in authority or agent of person in authority? Person in authority, sir? Agent, sir. Agent of person, APIA. Okay? So, take note of that. APIA. So, kapag ikaw ay APIA and somebody help you, agent of person in authority, when I say APIA, agent of person in authority, Somebody help you, okay, to assist you, okay, in the arrest, but nasaktan yung nang tumulong sa'yo, okay? 
hindi yan papasok sa direct assault. I want you to remember. Okay? Hindi rin yan papasok sa indirect assault. Okay? Sa hindi rin yan papasok sa indirect assault. Saan siya papasok? PI. Sa physical injury. So please remember, ha, ganito. Direct assault. Sino ang pwedeng magkaso? PIA, Person in Agent of Authority, at APIA. Person in okay. Authority, sir. Anong requirements? Anong elements? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Official, the sir. suspect lay a hand or seriously resist. Tandaan nyo, yung word na seriously resisted, applicable lang yan sa PIA, not to the APIA. So kapag minura niya, ang mayor, mayor is what? Person in authority or agent of person in authority? Person, sir. Person, person in authority. Minura ang mayor. Sabi ng mayor, nagpapamahagi ng subform ang mayor. Tapos, Itong isa, kinuha yung sa form, putsang ina ka, yun na nun, PI ka, okay, mayor ka, it's only, no, direct assault, susuntukin kita dyan, kahit walang actual assault na pananakit, okay? Pero, no, pag sa police or agent of personal authority, mas mataas yung level, yung mere shouting, kahit pagkwelyo sa pulis, ay hindi siya papasok sa direct assault. Kundi papasok lang siya saan? Physical injury. No? Kunyari kung hindi lang, no? Yung assault sa pulis. No? Yung isang tao. And then, yung tao pumipiglas dahil sa pagpiglas niya, resisting arrest. Kada pa yung pulis. Yes. Resisting, resisting or arrest. disobedience to the authority. Resisting arrest or simple disobedience. Okay? Simple yeah, disobedience and resisting arrest ang kaso. Ngayon, paano nagiging indirect assault? Ngayon. Kasi mali minsan ang connotation na kapag no, ang, uh, ang, ang victim ay uh, APIA or agent of personal authority, indirect na yan. Mali. Anong una niyong malaman? Dapat. Una, dapat may direct assault muna na nangyari dahil pag walang direct assault, walang indirect assault. Una yun, ha? Yun ang tandaan nyo. Okay? Dapat may direct assault muna na nangyari bago magkaroon ng indirect. Okay? So, sa direct assault, sa indirect assault, dapat, no? Okay? A person is a a person, a person trying to help, okay? Doon sa inaatak, okay? So inaatak yung person, you are trying to help the person. Therefore, no, nasaktan ka rin, okay? Indirect assault. You are helping ang um, APIA or PIA na under direct assault. Ngayon, kung walang direct assault na nangyayari at ikaw ay civilian tumulong ka, it will not fall on indirect assault. Kaya nga, doon sa, doon sa ating situation kanina, pumipiglas-piglas si Sasuke. No? Walang nangyayaring direct assault doon. So, tumulong... No, yung civilian si Pedro nasaktan, sinuntok, hindi siya papasok sa indirect physical, physical injuries. So I want you to remember that. Yes, Asmolo. Okay, past performance or while performing his duty or in relation to his past performance. So I want you to remember that. Okay, like for example, sa ganito Okay, uh, question ko. Si Judge, may hinatulan. Okay, uh, in Tagalog so that you could understand it uh, better. Si Judge, hinatulan si X sa kasong robbery at nakulong. 
Nagalit si Y na kapatid ni X. Okay? With regards to decision. Then, when he, when he chanced upon, nakita niya si Judge na nasa parking lot, kumuha siya ng kutilyo at he will try to uh, no? Sinabi niya kay Judge na I will kill you. Okay? I will kill you. Papatayin kita dahil sa ginawa mo. Nung papatayin na niya, okay? Nung uh, siya ay uh, nagsabi, uh, I'm sorry, not papatayin, naglabas siya ng kutsilyo, and then sinabi niya that you will pay for the uh, judgment that you made. Umarang si polis. Si polis, hinuli. Okay? So, ano ang kaso ni Y against the judge? Okay? Anong kaso ni Y? What is the answer? Okay, so, ano sagot? Yon, direct assault and, ano? And, direct assault and, dalawa ang kaso niya. Okay, I want you to take note of this. I, I gave you this in, uh, I gave you this situational because it was tough. And grave threat. Take note of that. Yes, direct assault and grave threat. So, take note. Ngayon, paano kung ang direct assault accompanied by less serious and serious physical injury? Kapag ang direct assault ay may kasamang serious or less serious physical injury, what will happen to the case? Separate okay. crime, sir. Ano, Jillian? Separate crime. Separate crimes? Separate crime dai daw sabi ni ni loves ko na Julian. Okay. He loves. Okay. Nagkaroon ka lang ng pants Julian ah. Hindi ka talaga. Nagkaroon. Baka lalo uh, laging dumalo na to si ano. Okay, la lalo nang dumalo to lagi pag nandito ka. <laughs> okay, Janus laging dadalo na yan at perfect ka din. <laughs> I'm not joking. She's a top student in Olivares. No, I think uh, yeah. sa lahat, no, closest yeah. to her is ano, sina Alcaraz. Sa Crush ko talaga na, si Julia. Sir, Crush ko talaga si, si Julian. Si Pahardo, Julian, sir. Ganun, no? Sila yung ano, saka si Romeroso. Yan yung, yeah. uh, yan yung, uh, Magagaling eh, sa uh, batch nila. Sineri. So, Julian. Wala naman masama sa pagka-crash. No? Kaya nga, review as a friend. Kaso hindi pa lang review. pa lang yan. Okay. Balik tayo. Kapag accompanied by physical injury, either less serious, yon very good, Darius. Magiging Composite crime or special complex crime. Okay? Magiging composite crime or special complex crime na direct assault with either less serious or serious physical way with. No? Yes. Paano kung slight lang? Hindi less serious. Slight lang. Paano kung slight lang? Slight lang. Slight lang. No, nasa pak lang, slight physical injury. Nasa pak lang, kunyari si Mayor. No? So, direct assault. Then, yon Very good, Darius. Buti si Darius, yes. magaling. So, ang magiging, ang magiging sagot, direct assault and and slight physical injury. Injury. That. Okay, Darius, ah, very good. Okay? Yes, Next very slide. Good. Okay. Who is the forgotten man in the criminal justice system? Oh, iba kami magkamali pa dito, ha? Victim. Victim, sir. Victim, sir. Victim. Victim. Yo. Delta, sir. Delta. Okay, but before we go on to the next okay. item, I hope that... Ako, I sir. Victim, anong maling pagmamahal. Disobedience, resisting arrest, pati physical injury, is already clear sa inyo, ha? 
So kapag ito ang tinanong, I hope na masasagot nyo na ito, ha? Pero tandaan nyo, there is other form of direct assault which is not related doon sa tinanong natin. For example, may in ka na isang uh, government agency, uh, yung, yung uh, kanilang function, for example, COMELEC, okay? Office. You go to the, uh, to the COMELEC, nagwala ka ron, pinastop mo, may kasama ka. Hindi, mga mandaraya kayo. So the COMELEC stop their normal operation. Direct assault din yun. Similar siya kasi sa sedition, pero mas lighter. Tandaan nyo. Okay? Or if you will, uh, uh, tawag na niyo, spread anger and hatred towards a person or his uh, crime, properties. Yung, for example, hate crimes. It's also direct assault. Kaya don't confine yourself. Huwag kayong limited doon sa pinag-usapan natin na direct assault sa PIA at sa APIA. So I want you to remember that. Okay, next tayo rito. Okay. So si Janus, eh, kapag si uh, Jillian ang uh, aaresto dyan, Please, sir. Iwalang to pares, walang palagyan. Hindi yan magpokomit <laughs> ng direct assault. Suko yan. Himatay yan, sir. <laughs> Himatay. Okay. Eh, bago miss tayo si Jillian, ha? dati sila <laughs> dito na. Si Jillian. Okay. Paano pa lang ang change na nang bubuos ng taho sa pulis? Saan siya pwedeng pumasok? Okay. Uh, ano na naman, ho? it depends upon... Okay, ganito kasi uh, yung medyo ilog, uh, medyo ano eh, kulang yung situation sa Dennis. Dadagdagan natin. For example, binubuhusan yung pulis ng taho para hindi niya magawa yung kanyang trabaho. Like for example, pinipigil mo yung pulis, hulihin ka, then binubuhusan mo ng taho, that is direct assault. Okay? Kasi that is, uh, ano na yan eh, uh, Si, si Biran na yan, yung parang pinahiya mo ng husto yung pulis. Okay, that is disrespect no? to the honor to the, uh, as a police officer. Kapag no, binuhusan mo ng taho without any reason, kunyari nakatamba yung pulis, binuhusan mo ng taho. Okay? So, there is some uh, crimes na tinatawag nating uh, unjust vexation na pwede kang hulihin. Uh, unfortunately, wala tayong mas mabibigat na kaso na pwedeng ikaso doon sa tao. Okay? Kapag bigla ka nalang binuhusan ng taho. So, it can also kapag uh, nasira yung uniforme mo because of the stain, you can also file a case of malicious mischief. Okay? Let's say yun, sir. Uniform. Kasi nasira, di ba? na manchahan, hindi mo na magamit. Or unjust vexation, just like what I've told you. Okay? So, unjust vexation or irritational annoyance. No? Yun nga lang masakit doon. Unjust vexation is only uh, imprisonment of one. Okay. Isang probation na to eh. Automatic ano na to, probation. Okay, dito tayo. Which of the following best define the right of surprise? Ano sagot? Caesar. Oh, Charlie, right. sir. Okay, very good. Charlie. Charlie. Okay, next tayo. Well. So, which of the type of violent offender who live in the culture in which violence is acceptable problem mechanism? Anong sagot dito? Okay. What is the answer? Okay, ano sagot? Sabi ni Jerry E, what is the cause? Sabi ni Gretchen A. So when you say about pathological violent offender, ito yung suffering from uh, any uh, uh, form Bisa. of uh, psychiatric problem. Okay, uh, like for example, merong mental disorder, okay, pathological or behavioral problems. Okay? When you say about a uh, criminal violent offender characterized by aggressive aggressiveness. 
Okay? And antisocial uh, behaviors. Ayaw sumunod sa batas. Okay? Yes, Arben, uh, pathological mental illness. Situational is uh, with a given opportunity, he will commit some violent crimes. No? So, di ba meron tayong mga types of uh, criminals? Okay. Yes, sir. So, but when you say about criminal who only commit because of there is an opportunity, anong type of criminal yun? Situational. Yes, situational. But according to Lombroso, or to, according to ano, what type of criminal is that? Yung isang beses na nakakamit, sir. Yes. Nakalimutan ka tao. Okay. So, Nakalimutan ka Ordinary, hindi, 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 hindi ordinary. Hindi, hindi, hindi ordinary. Hindi, hindi, hindi ordinary. Simple act. So, a type of criminal that only commits a crime because there is a opportunity or situation is what? Okay? Criminal. So, take note of that. Okay? Criminaloids. Ah. So, Kapag ang type of criminal naman, when you say about may mentally insanity or he has some justifiable reason no, why he committed the crime like self-defense, ano namang type of criminal yun? Pseudo-criminal. Pseudo-criminal, sir. Yun. Pseudo-criminal. So I want you to remember that. Okay, dito tayo. Ayan, kayang-kaya nyo to. Okay. Lina is very concerned about her health, okay? That he have been using alcohol during batting. Na-discuss ko na kanina. What is the answer? A, A, A. Yun. Hypochondriasis. Hypochondriasis. Or excessive concern about your health. Clear it is. Pinaligo mo yung alcohol. <laughs> so, sana all mayaman. <laughs> Ang mahal-mahal nito. Next. Dito tayo. Okay. Uh, ano, ano ito? An old woman approached P.O. Gomez asking the police officer to run after an identified young man who allegedly snatched her mobile phone. Gomez declined claiming that the man was already a block away from them. Besides, the police officer alleged that he's rushing home for urgent matter at home. Non-fatal, okay. non sir. Non-fatal. is what? Ayun. Non-fatal. Or neglect of duty. Non-fatal. This situation will fall on what type of warrantless arrest? Anong type of warrantless arrest ito makukonsider o makukol? Di ba? We have generally, ah, Okay, generally, we have three types of warrantless arrest. Generally, in flagrant delito and caught in the act. Okay. Very good. Caught in the guys, tandaan nyo, I want you to listen. Okay? Under Rule 113, Section 5, Paragraph A to C. Okay? The three... Warrantless arrest. Kailangan nyo itong, hindi lamang yung ano eh, hindi lamang yung in flagrante delicto, yung hot pursuit. Actually, dapat hindi hot pursuit ang tawag niya dyan. It should be probable cause. And the last one, fugitive. So you should know the essence of this three. Although meron pa tayong other forms of warrantless arrest, but according to Rule 113, under citizen's arrest, there are only three. Okay? Una, in your presence, the crime is actually committing. Okay? Attempted to commit or, okay, already committed. In your presence, the person to be arrested. Okay? Sa iyong harap. Ngayon, kapag ikaw ay nakatalikod, for example, you turn your back and then the criminal 
uh, snatches the bag of a lady, and then the lady called you, can that be considered as in flagrante delicto? Yes or yes, no? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hindi kasi feasible or doable yung mag a apply ka pa ng warrant of arrest while you are in the actual commission of the crime. What you, while you are observing the actual commission of the crime. Okay? Number two, yung tinatawag nating probable cause or hot pursuit. The crime has just been committed. Yan. May committed itong pusa namin. No? Kutum na yata to. <laughs> so, the crime has been committed. When you say been, has been committed, mainit-init pa, sabi ni Jade. Tama. Kaya nga, we have what you call reglementary period eh. Di ba? We have reg reglementary period, okay, for the arrest. If the crime is light offenses, How many hours? 12. 12. If the crime is less serious offense, 18. How about serious offense? 36 hours. Okay. Despite of this, you still inquested, for example, for the crime of rape. Tapos na yung rape. Tapos na yung 36 hours. In-inquest mo pa rin yung tao. Or you detain the person without being brought to the inquest proceedings. Ano ang kaso mo? Arbitrary detention, sir. Arbitrary. Arbitrary. Okay. Okay. Illegal detention, sir. Illegal, de uh, not illegal detention, but arbitrary. arbitrary. Pero arbitrary. specifically, tandaan nyo guys, no? Kapag dinala mo ang tao sa prosecutor, or hindi mo dinalayin ang tao sa prosecutor with a certain amount of time, no, under the reglementary period, ang kaso mo dyan, Article 125. Take note of that. Failure to deliver the arrested person to the proper judicial authority. That is the okay, best answer for that. No, not delaying release. Kasi meron tayong delaying release eh. Okay? Yes. Okay? No? You failed to deliver the arrested person to the proper judicial authorities under Article 125. So take note of that. So punta na tayo rito. Okay? So... Calderon went to Criminal Justice College and punched Prof. Ramos in the stomach after berating the professor for scolding the police official son who is a criminology student. Okay? Police Superintendent Calderon Act should be condemned because it is an act of what? What is the answer? Yan, ha? Basic. This is basic. Anong sagot? Nako! Ano yan? Basahing maigi. Impotent, sir. Saka malpisan, sir. Uh, what is the answer? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Anong sagot? Nako! Jerry, anong ulit ang uh, respond ko dito? Awitized. Awitized na naman yan. Okay, the answer is letter T. Okay? Mantiha, sir? Yes. Ay, I'm sorry guys, no? Letter A, sir? Hindi, ano, hindi, hindi letter C. Letter A, sir? Kasi, incompetence, eh. Hindi yung incompetence. So, 
The answer dito is uh, by the way, no? CMD is ano eh? CMD is the same. Okay, misconduct and malfeasance is the same. So it's either CMD. So we should correct it, no? Ang A kasi, hindi na to irregularities eh, in the uh, performance of duty because, no, uh, sinapak niya yung proof, no, it's out of his duty, hindi yan nagpe-perform ng duty niya because the reason is pinagalitan yung anak niya. Okay? So, definitely not A. Incompetence, no. Wala siyang ignorance dito eh. Okay? Walang ignorance dito si, uh, si uh, Calderon. So, the answer... Ang uh, tamang sagot is either C or D. Kasi ang malfeasance, tinatawag din siyang misfeasance. Okay? Ah, uh, misconduct. I'm sorry. Misconduct. Okay. Kung siya na lumalabo na yung mata ko. Sa antok. Pero kaya natin yan. Ha? Kaya natin yan. Okay? Next tayo rito. Lander. Laban lang. Okay? Kaya natin yan. Lander. Kulang na tayo. Yes. Sa... Basta walang mawawalang chicks. Okay. Kasi <laughs> nasabi ko sa si Janos eh. Okay. Characterized by being hostile, expressed in indirect and non-violent ways. Ano ang sagot dyan? Okay. Dati kami, 12 hours kami nila Jerry. Lagpas pa nga Jerry ng 12 hours yung review natin. No? Nahilo nga. <laughs> Hilo-hilo na sir. Oo. Hilo-hilo na. Ngayon ako kasi, alas 4 pa ako gising. I, go, uh, I went to Tagaytay. Nagturo ako doon. Then, nakauwi ako ng uh, 9 o'clock. Okay, nag-rides ako sa motor. Kaya nga, pro rider. Eh. Mahilig mag-rides kahit malayo yung school. So, Sir, si Sir. Anong sagot? Pasig, Nakuha, oh, pasig, 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 Si yes, sir. Okay. Passive sir. So kindly type your answer para makita ko kasi nagsasapawan sa boses eh. Parang nagpapatong-patong. Eh yan. D D D D D D. Pati si Jillian D. Yon tama kayo. Wala nang awit diyan. Passive aggressive. Okay? So I want you to take note of that. The passive aggressive uh, principle, okay? Uh, this order. So, take note of this, no? Okay? So, when you say about passive, aggressive personality, yan yung ayaw sumunod sa rules. Okay? Ayaw sumunod sa policy. Although it's not uh, blatantly or aggressively or violently okay, uh, Violently, uh, na hindi sumusunod, pero yung hindi niya pagsunod doon, for example, ay, ayoko sundin yan. That is also a type of disorder. Yan tama si Isa, is the board. Okay? So take note of that. That is passive, aggressive personality. Okay, what do you mean by schizoids? Schizoids. What do you mean by schizoids? Superstitious thinking, sir. Okay. So, what is the difference with schizoid or schizotypal okay, person to person who is suffering from avoidant personality disorder? Ano pagkakaiba nilang dalawa? Oh, tama si, ano, si Jillian. Galing talaga ni Jillian. Inability to form social relationship. Schizoids. How about avoidant? Yes, Janos. Uh, do you have any idea? Wait How about lang. avoidant personality disorder? Kung ang schizoids inability to form social relationship, but when you say about avoidant, kasi loners din yun eh. Pareho silang Di ayaw. Hindi marunong, sir. Ilo. But there are two reasons. Hindi siya marunong. Pagkakaiba. Okay? Ano, Jerry? You are answering? Hindi po siya marunong, sir. Mapagka... Salamuha, sir. Okay, yun yung schizoids. Hindi siya marunong makipag... 
ban ah. ng pagkapwa tao. So, yun ang schizoid. How about avoidant? Yun! Characterized by hypersensitivity to rejection. Ibig sabihin, he doesn't want to be demeaned, to be berated, no, alipustahin, natatakot siya na baka maliitin siya. That is why he is not mingled to each other. Ah, galing ni Jillian na hypersensitivity to rejection. Tama yun. Okay? Class ko yan. Class ko yan. Okay. So, class ka daw ni Janos. Galing talaga. Future top notcher. Okay? So, yes, social derogation. Tama, Rosaline. You don't want to, ano eh, no? Kunyari, nandiyan yung grupo ng, ano, grupo, then ikaw, ayaw mo sumali kasi, ay, mahirap lang ako, baka mamaya, Naitin lang nila ako eh. So that is avoidant. Pero, kapag schizoids ka, no, you don't know how to bond. Hindi mo alam on how to bond with them. Kaya, hindi ka nakakapagbuo na social bond. Okay? So that is schizoid and schizotypal. So I want you to remember that. Next, din tayo. Rodolfo has been very suspicious. He even suspected his own mother of doing bad things to him. Okay. Ano ang sagot dyan? Si, sir. Yun ang galing nila ang tingan. The answer is C. Okay. So, very good, Alvarico. Okay. The answer is... Masagot nila, sir. Masagot na nila. Okay. Next tayo. Okay. Let us now proceed to this one. Irrational fear which is fixed, intense, uncontrollable, and has no reasonable foundation. What is the answer? Okay, yes. The answer is a phobia. So when you say about delusion, it is a product of a mental insanity. You see things that is not in reality. Nakakakita ka ng wala sa realidad o naniniwala ka nang wala sa realidad. And that is what you call delusions. Like for example, yes, you don't have talent for singing. Wala ka talagang talento. Pero you are no, auditioning sa mga talent, ano, no, talent, uh, talent contest like American Idol. Okay. So, kasi you are believing that you can win it, pero in reality, you are just delusioning, delusional. Okay, so I want you to take note of that. There, kapag di ba starstruck, magakita ka rin ng alam natin na wala naman pag-asa manalo, but sumali pa rin. Okay, and they are they fully believe that they could win the contest. Okay. That is being delusional. So when you say about anxiety, ito yung intangible feeling that seems to evade any effort to resolve it. So for example, parang after frustration, anxiety. Okay? Anxiety na, oh, kahit gawin ko to, hindi ko na magagawa to. So for example, ito sa board exam, you already failed. Okay, nag-failed ka na. So, mapupunta sa isip mo, ay, dati nag-review ako, pero bumagsak ako. Siguro kung mag-review ako, babagsak pa rin ako dito. So, that is, ano, anxiety. Meaning to say, no, wala na yung feeling mo na you need to do this in your, uh, in your perception, it will not make any sense na kahit gawin mo to, it will be useless. Okay? So, that is anxiety. So, I want you to take note of that. Okay, guys, no? Total, pinag-uusapan natin ang society. Pinag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag na uh, frustrations o yung uh, feelings na hindi maganda. <laughs> Napoprostrate tayo, di ba? With, if we can't achieve our goal. Okay? Pero, meron tayong tinatawag na conflict. Okay? So, itong conflict na to, very important to eh, for us to understand. Okay? We have different type of uh, conflict. Eh. No? We have different type of conflict. Merong dalawang positive, then may dalawang negative, then both positive, negative. 
When you say about positive, it means na approach. Kapag negative, it means avoid. avoid that. Okay? So, tandaan nyo, no? Kapag negative ang resolve, gusto mong gawin, that is approach. Kapag ayaw mong gawin, that is avoidance. Negative. Ayaw mong gawin yan. That is avoidance. No? Like for example, una, pag-usapan natin yung double approach conflict. Okay? Double approach conflict. You want to graduate college, uh, criminology. Okay? But your mother wanted you to take engineering. Okay? So, parehas itong approach. Huh? But, wala kang magawa kasi hindi mo sila pwedeng pagsabayin. You can take uh, criminology and engineering at the same time. Okay? Pero pag hindi mo naman pinili ang engineering, wala kang college because your mother will not finance your college degree. So, that is double approach. Okay? I want you to remember, dalawang gusto mong mangyari pero pipili ka lang ng isa. Dalawang positive ang pagpipilian. Tama si Jay. When you say about dalawang negative ang pagpipilian mo, okay? Dalawang negative ang pagpipilian mo. So, yan ay double avoidance conflict. So, I want you to remember that. Facing two undesirable situation. Anong example nun? Okay? So, inutusan kang maghugas ng pinggan. Ayaw mong gawin. Sabi ng nanay mo, pag hindi mo ginawa, wala kang baon. Okay? Wala kang baon. So, take note of that. No, ayaw mo rin magkaroon, ayaw mo kung nag-aaral ka, ayaw mo rin na siyempre na wala kang baon, pero ayaw mo rin maghugas ng pinggan. So yung dalawang negative na to na ayaw mong gawin, uh, you don't have a choice. Okay, pipili ka. So, take note of that. No? Wala kang choice, talaga. No? Parehas mong ayaw, pero you should choose one over the other. Okay? When you say about Yung isa naman na tinatawag na no, meron kang dalawang sitwasyon, okay? O isang situation, no? Isang situation na may parehas approach at may parehas na avoidance. Okay? So, take note. For example, ikaw ay mayroong jowa. Okay? May jowa ka. Tapos, siyempre yung jowa, mahilig sa pogi. No? Okay? Pero, batugan. ba? Meron kang uh, boyfriend na gustong... Ay, itong pusa ko. <laughs> Doon ka nga. <laughs> Pasaway ka. Ali ka nga rito. Ang hilig mong mano. Okay? Wait lang guys, ha? Na... Na ano ng pusa eh. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, just sa sinasabi ko na ano no, na isang uh, uh, conflict yung tinatawag nating uh, approach avoidance conflict, no? Ito kasi yung kanina double approach, isa naman double avoidance. Ito man, may isa kang approach sa isang situation, may isa kang avoidance. For example nga kanina sa aking ano, meron kang Jowa, gusto mong pakasalan kasi guwapo. Nako. Pero batugan. ba? Ngayon, meron yang approach. Number one, wow, pogi. Sikat sa tropa. Pogi ng asawa mo ha. Diba? Siyempre, pogi. Ano yung avoidance mo? Batugan. Siyempre, pa-gym-gym na lang. Ikaw mo po provide ng pera. Naging ano ka, mamasang. Okay. Naging sugar mami ka. Okay. Ah, wait. So, yun yung example ng uh, approach avoidance conflict. Sa isang decision mo, meron kang approach, 
Like, oy, ang gwa, gusto ko to, gwapo ng aking boyfriend. Or, meron kang avoidance, ay, batugan. Ako lang nagtatrabaho, tapos siya, pa gym gym lang. Tapos may six-pack abs pa, may pandesal. Di mo alam, sa likod ng six-pack abs na yan, baka, iba naman <laughs> ang hinahanap niyan. <laughs> Di ba, Jerry? Okay, yan din ako si Michael. Sir. Michael, nag-gym to eh. Baka <laughs> mamaya, no? Panlabas Gabi. ng pati yung abs na yan. <laughs> so take note of that. That is approach. When you say about naman, yung pinakalas, di ba? Yung pinakalas natin, yung tinatawag natin, double approach and avoidance. Okay? Double. Okay? Approach and avoidance conflict natin. Okay? Ito yung keyword nyo dito, may dalawang alternative ka eh. May alternative ka. Na parehas din na may approach, avoidance, approach, avoidance. May dalawa kang choice or more than two choices. Alternatives nga eh. No? For example, balik tayo sa situation, may manliligaw, di ka? Yung isa, pogi, batugan. Yung approach niya, pogi. Yung negative niya, batugan. Yung isa naman, mangkanor. <laughs> Mangkanor, matanda, hindi, pa, hindi pogi, pero mayaman. Okay? So, pipili ka ng dalawa sa dalawang alternative na yon kung ano ang iyong gustong uh, mangyari. Okay? So, anything na piliin mo, meron siyang approach avoidance. Okay? Ang tawag doon, sabi ni uh, Aisa, multiple approach Pero tinatawag din itong double approach avoidance conflict. Okay? So I want you to remember that. Okay? Punta tayo ngayon sa other, ano, characterized by, uh, to, an alam nyo na to, anong sagot dito? What is the answer for this one? Anong sagot Narcissist. dito? Narcissistic. Okay, take note. Suspicious. Sinabi ko na kanina yan. Rigidity, envy, hypersensitivity. Okay. Paranoid. Anong uh, anong sagot diyan? Paranoid. Yes, paranoid. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, okay? Huwag kayong malito between paranoid personality, okay? Doon sa narcissistic. Ang nakalagay kasi sa narcissistic ay exaggeration. No? Exaggerated self-importance. So, take note of that. Okay? Next tayo. Characterized by instability reflected in drastic mood shifts. The, per the person usually display intense anger. So, what is the answer for this one? Intense Bord anger. Borderline person. Borderline -er. Yon. Very good. Wala nang awit. Sa umpisa lang ang awit. Okay. Dito tayo. Ronda, Roda had been feeling pain though he has no injury. She has been living in a stressful area. Okay. Surrounded by toxic people. Anong patterns ito included? Ito ba ay psychotic, neurotic, psychopathic, or abnormal patterns? Psychotic, Anong sagot? Okay, what is the answer? Sabi ni Jerry, okay, ang disorder na to ay tinatawag natin, uh, this is what you call the psychogenic disorder. Okay? Ang psychogenic is under what? Is under neurotic. Patterns. So take note, the answer is neurotic patterns. Okay? Psychopathic kasi ang under niyan eh. Yung paranoid, histrionic, schizoid, borderline, de uh, dependent, avoidant, passive-aggressive, uh, passive personality disorder. Okay? Compulsive. Okay? So, then yung tinatawag nating antisocial. Okay? Yun yung mga example ng psychopathic. Ang psychotic kasi, there is a brain damage already. Meron ng insanity. Meron ng pre... pre uh, Super-disorientation. 
What do you mean by dra, pra, uh, dementia praecox in English? In English, what is dementia praecox? Schizophrenia. Yes, but the literal translation of dementia praecox in English. Split of mind. Okay, split of mind. Very good. Okay. So, tinatawag din siyang otherwise known as Precocious madness. So I want you to take note of this also. Okay. Precocious madness. Okay. So dito tayo. Romel was abnormally afraid of enclosed area. What type of personality disorder is shown to the preceding statement? What is the answer? Yon, very good, Irvin. The answer is Delta. Okay. Povic. Okay. The answer is Povic. Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Tama ka dyan. Mr. Roberto was fired from his work and became separated from his wife. Nagkahiwalay. Due to this unfortunate event, he decided to remain idle and stay in his room. He suffers from what? Okay. Anong sagot? Okay. Sabi ni Rosalyn A. Sabi ni Isa A. Sabi ni Gretchen A. Okay. A. Very good. The answer is A. When you say about depressive disorder, ito na yun, yung major depression. That is major depression. Okay, ano naman yung dystemic disorder? What is dystemic? Anybody? Dystemic. When you say about dystemic, ano ibig sabihin nun? Okay, tulog na yata ang aking mga bata. <laughs> okay. Mga kabataks. <laughs> Ayun, sabi ni Virgilio. So, good evening, ah, good morning sa'yo, Virgilio. Isa sa mga magagaling ko rin mentorians yan. Mild form of depression. Tandaan nyo ha, kompleto. Mild form of depression. Ang bipolar, manic, or sudden change of behavior. Okay? Pero ang keyword nyo dyan, manic. Okay, changes. So, ano naman ang cyclotemic? What is cyclotemic? Okay, ano naman ang cyclotemic? Anybody? Nako, inaantok na yung mga bata ko. Meron pang strong 50 rito. Okay, si Jill niya nawala na, nagpaalam na, nagchat. Okay, sabi niya, tulog na daw, sir, di na kaya. Okay, Janus, malungkot ka na. <laughs> nawala na din, sir, si Janus. Ah, nawala na rin. Aba. <laughs> Ito si Janus, halata talaga. Ay, Jerry na lang malakas, sir. Kaya nga eh, 50 na lang ang malakas, okay? So, when you say yon, less less severe or simply speaking, mild form of bipolar, okay? Ang kung mild form of depression ang dystemic, ang cyclotemic naman, I want you to remember, mild form of bipolar. Okay? So, take note of that. Dito tayo ngayon. Increasing disrespect and assault cases against elders is connected to the decreasing decreasing number of student use uh, children using po and opo to the to older persons. What is your answer? Anong sagot? Okay, kaya daw dumarami ang this uh, hindi paggalang at pag uh, pananakit sa matatanda ay dahil sa dumaraming uh, kumokonti na yung bata ang hindi gumagamit ng po at opo sa mga matatanda okay kaya hindi na bata pa lang hindi na nawawala na yung ating ano ano sagot Jerry anong sagot ko diyan sa sinagot ninyo Anong sinagot ko dyan sa sinagot ninyo? 
Anong isasagot ko, Jerry? Awitay, sir. Awitay na naman. Di ba kasasabi niyo lang kanina? Okay, kanina, di ba? Kayo pa nga nagsabi sa akin, lack of values, lack of norms. Nawawala na yung mga traditions and values that once held or hold our di ba our social uh, bond or uh, no morality yes the answer is ano me okay dahil sa nawawala na yung ating values yung hindi pag sagot o paggamit ng po at opo sa matatanda dumadami na rin yung mga hindi gumagalang at nananakit ng mga matatanda okay So, take note of that. That is why may mga bata na ngayon na minumura yung professor. May mga bata na ngayon na lumalaban. No? May mga bata na ngayon na kahit matanda. Kung napanood nyo, di ba? Sa mga videos, may mga batandang binubugbog. Okay? Nang mas bata, dapat nga gumalang siya doon sa matanda. Kahit nasabihin mo nag-aaway sila, hindi niya dapat bugbogin. <laughs> di ba? Pero binug uh, binugbog niya. So, That is ano. When you say about human ecology, ano yung human ecology, guys? What do you mean by human ecology? Anong pinaka-keyword nyo dyan? Competition between human. Diba? Nagkakaroon ng krimen because there is what? Competition. Okay, binugbog ako ng DF ko. Tama, no? Ano may theory din yan? Kasi dapat... Ang mga lalaki ay ginagalang ng kababaihan. Ngayon, ang mga lalaki ay binubugbog <laughs> ng mga kababaihan. Okay, awit tayo diyan. Ready? Awit tayo. Pero syempre tayo hindi lalaban, syempre, di ba? Okay, bugbugin na nila tayo, pero tayo ay hindi tayo lalaban. Wala yung justifying circumstances sa atin, no? Kapag partner natin ang nanakit. <laughs> Walang justifying, justifying circumstances na yan. Okay. Next. Okay. In order to eradicate the crime of illegal possession of deadly weapon, the Congress abolished BP-09. Okay. BP-09 is the illegal possession law of deadly weapon law. Okay. Ano ang sagot? No? Para mawala yung crime na illegal possession, edi tanggalin mo yung batas ng illegal possession. Ano ang sagot? Okay? Nag-usapan natin kanina, ang instrumentalist ay yung batas na ginagamit para makontrol yung lower class. Yung neutralization naman, ito yung ginagamit o ginajustify para i-violate ang batas. Like sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, denial of responsibility and denial of injury. Okay? So, ang sagot dito, lahat, again, Jerry, Gretchen, alam nyo na, kung Ervin, alam nyo, ayan, Ervin ang nakasagot. Okay? So, Ervin, ano ang tamang sagot kung uh, sagot mo, D? What is the answer? If you want to eradicate crimes, you must remove the law. Ano yun? Anong term yun? Yung walang, magiging, yung walang magiging crime, sir, pag tinanggal yung ano, sir? Yes, ano? Uh, Anong tawag doon? Yun! Logomacy. Galing ni ano, ah. So the answer here is logomacy. So I want you to take note of that. The principle of logomacy. Next. Dito tayo, PO1 Magubat was born from criminal family. He was looking for pleasure in life. But do not take anyone, any risk and avoid pain. Okay? PO1 Magubat is a great representation of what? Anong sagot? Si. Yon, very good. The answer is hedonist or hedonistic criminal. So, galing. Okay? Uh, 47 Tim Mang was an ugly man <laughs> Tim Mang <laughs> He has been experiencing Rejection Okay 
from females. So he committed rape. This situation refers to the arguments of what? Okay, anong arguments ito? What is your answer? Anong sagot nyo dyan? Okay, ako pagod na. No? Pagod na ang aking uh, mga bata. What is the answer? Okay, what is the uh, what is the answer for this one? Anong sagot? Sabi C D C C C A. Ernest Kretschmer and Sheldon is about the physical structure, the somatotyping, di ba? Okay, so picnic, athletic, asthenic, okay, dysplastic. Then Sheldon, mesomorph, ectomorph, and endomorph. So definitely, that is not the answer. Okay? So, kaninong teori ito? Kaninong teori yan? Na kapag, for example, no, because of inferiority in physical physical inferiority na tinatawag ta that is why this person committed rape no kasi meron siyang tinatawag na physical inferiority anong sagot diyan what is the answer no not a stigma okay definitely that is not uh, a stigma okay so sino ano sino ano si Ernest Ernest ano Ernest? Kreshmer. No, not Kreshmer. Okay. Kapareha sila. Ano? H. Yucapilido. Okay. Ano? Huton. Yon. Very good. Ernest Huton. Okay. Yes. Take note. Usay. Sabi nga ni ano, no? Jerry. Ernest Huton. No? Dahil meron na physical inferiority. Okay? Kaya sila nakakommit nito. So I want you to remember that. Okay? Next tayo. Okay? One of the negative traits of the Filipino is to emulate the actions, okay, of their uh, of their idols, okay? May ini-emulate yung action ng kanilang idol. Ngayon, Okay, even copying their untowards behavior. This refers to the theory advocated by anong sagot? Tardi. Tardi. Gabriel. Sabi ni uh, Jonas A. Okay, may narinig ako sino sumagot doon? Anong Gabriel sagot Tardi. dito? Tardi Jerry. sir. Gabriel Tardi. Tardi sir. Sagot? Gabriel Tardi sir. Gabriel Tardi. Yon, very good. Na so tama. Nakatawa. Kasi ano ba, ano ba to si ano si Erickson? Okay, anong ano niya? Saka si Adler. Okay? Yes. Ano si Adler? Okay, when you say about Adler, guys. Okay, parang parehas lang ng kay ano yan, Huton. Pero yung kay Huton kasi, yung physical inferiority, yun ang uh, yun ang dahilan. Pero kay Adler, yung fear or takot na maging mapababa ka. Okay? Ayaw mong maging inferior kaya ka gumagawa ng krimen. For example, ayaw mong maging mahirap. Kasi sa tingin mo, ang pagiging mahirap ay inferior. So gumagawa ka ng krimen para maging manatili ka as mayaman. That is the, uh, the arguments of Adler. But when you say about Erickson, guys, no? Okay. Dito naman ang kabaligtaran. No, kabaligtaran nito nung kay Adler. Kung kay Adler takot ka sa pagiging mababa or inferior, kay Erickson naman inadequate development of sense of identity or in inadequate sense of inferiority. Ibig sabihin guys, tandaan niyo no, na pag sinabi mong yung kay uh, Erickson No, sobrang taas ng tingin mo sa sarili mo, hindi mo kayang mapagkumbaba, kaya nakakagawa ka ng mga 
paglabag sa batas o krimen. Okay? Ang kaibahan kay kay ano naman kay Adler, okay, fear of inferiority. Okay? Dahil takot ka maging mababa, you committed crimes. Okay? Kumbaga na pupuli fully aware ka na kapag mababa ka or inferior ka, okay, mas uh, talo ka. No? For example, talo ka. But when you say about kay Erickson, ito yung the other way around. Okay? Kulang sa development yung sense mo of inferiority. Kaya ang tingin mo sa sarili mo, you're always in a higher uh, uh, status. Okay? So, Ang uh, problema doon, you become aggressive, you committed crimes because you are no longer caring for others. Okay? So, take note of that. No? Yung ano, yung uh, kay Adler guys, uh, kaya tayo meron tinatawag na Napoleon complex. Napoleonic complex. Okay? Kasi nga, di ba si Napoleon maliit, kaya tuloy, maliit na tao pero magaling. Okay? So, Pag yung tao may mga ganito, no, they wanted to overcome that inferiority. Okay? Let us now proceed to this one. Okay? Dito tayo. A spoiled brat who became a criminal is an example of person referred to as what? Anong sagot dito? Okay? What is your answer? Okay, nako, inaantok na ang aking mga bata. 49, may nabawas na na isa. <laughs> Bale, patapos na tayo guys. No? Okay, a spoiled brat who became a criminal is an example of person, uh, person, person referred by anong sagot dyan? What is the answer? Okay, Anong pagkakaintindi nyo kay Acorn? What is your uh, What is your uh, understanding about Acorn? Di ba si Acorn kasi sinusuportahan niya yung theory ni uh, Sigmund Freud about the personality, the id, the ego, and super ego. Okay? But when you say about Acorn, okay, Sa kanya kasi kay Acorn kasi, no? Meron siyang tinatawag na I want you to remember this, faulty development of the child during the first few years of his life. Ibig sabihin, doon nung bata siya, nagkaroon ng faulty ego development. So alam naman natin na yung ego is the realistic part of personality. So kapag ito nagkaroon ng fault, no? The development, like for example, a spoiled brat. Okay? Ang spoiled brat kasi guys, no, na bata na na-spoiled mo, no? Hindi siya nakaka-perceive kung mas mataas yung kanyang id. The reality, for example, ang spoiled brat naghirap. Okay? Naghirap ang spoiled brat. Sa id niya, mataas. He wanted this kind of cell phone. He wanted an iPhone phone. Pero yung reality, mahirap na sila. So dahil hindi makakope up, dahil merong ego personality, a faulty development of ego, gumagawa siya ng krimen just to satisfy his id or desire. Okay? So I want you to remember that. The answer is acorn. Okay? Yes, uh, Icorn. Okay. So, dito na tayo ngayon. Okay. Uh, Lito Lapid. Okay. Sana all si Lito Lapid. Last, uh, last topic natin. Last item. Lito Lapid steals from the rich and gave it to the poor. It's an example of... Ito may energy pa ako. <laughs> Anong sagot dito? Okay, nagnanakaw siya sa mayaman at binibigay sa mahirap. Okay, what is the answer? Anong sagot? Okay, anong sagot? What is the answer? Sabi ni Jerry B. Sabi ni Keisha B. Okay, how about the others? Yung, yung iba, ano na eh, naantok na eh. 
din ng mga sagot. Baka tulog na, no? nakarap sa cellphone. Okay, si Gerson, C. Okay, D, A. Si Mark, A. Okay. So, how about the others? Uh, how about ito. the others? Uh, a, 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 A. Ito na yung last item natin. At yung last item natin, uh, last item, item anong respond ko dyan? Awitizer. 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 Okay. Awitizer. Ano ang pinaka-tamang sagot? Delta. Okay? Tandaan niyo, subculture is the formation of delinquent uh, youth or uh, groups. Di ba? Uh, pagbubuo ng mga delinquenting grupo ng mga kabataan. Social disorganization. Uh, if there is a lack of... Uh, Like for example, lack of opportunities, lack of poverty, a uh, poverty pala, I'm sorry, lack of education, unemployment. So the uh, society is disorganized. Social structure, ito yung uh, ito yung effects ng ano guys, no, ng external factors lalo na ng society or environment doon sa criminal behavior. Under ng social structure theory yung tatlo, subculture Social disorganization. Ano yung huli? Na under na social structure. Ano yung huli? Strain theory. Ang sagot dito, strain theory. Okay? Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong situation. Sa strain theory. Okay? Na kapag dahil kulang ng opportunities ang uh, isang class, an equal distribution of, uh, of opportunities, yung mga hindi magawa yung gusto nilang gawin because of unequal opportunities, they will find ways. Like for example in this one, magnanakaw siya sa mayaman, ibibigay niya sa mahirap because of the uh, conflict. Okay? So I want you to remember that the answer is strain theory. Okay? So, Okay, uh, meron pa tayong continuation nito. Guys, yeah. yeah, andaan nyo. To be continued to. Marami okay. salamat, okay. sir. Salamat po, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. 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 Paki and also try to help me no spread lang natin yung uh, aking channel so that uh, dumago ito. Okay, that is the only payment that I want, okay? So, Sabado yeah. Linggo baka magkaroon tayo sa ballistic guys, okay? So, Criminalist. Yes, ah, uh, sir. sir, kakanta po daw muna si Gabi Agulya. Okay, so maraming salamat sa inyo guys. Tulog na tayo at ako'y antok na antok na rin. Okay, guys. Thank, Thank you, sir. Sir, kakanta daw po muna si Gabi. Thank you, Gabi. sir. I'm great, Jane. Good night. Good night, Jane. I'm great, Jane. Good night, guys. Good night, everyone. Salamat sa asa, friend.